right, let's cut this one off shot. Well, I guess it was probably through the intro. Welcome everybody to JRS in Racing Normal. Viewing establishments have been confirmed after the 24 North Shower Life. LFM that we took part in at the weekend. I'm about recovered from it. Still a little bit uh, a little bit iffy if I'm all honest with you, but we had a lot of fun there. Welcome in Roach Mac. Doug as well. Thank you very much. And we've got BMS in there. I'm gonna oblige, I do have one there. Um yeah. Hello Doug, how are you my friend? How are right, you? Yeah, not too bad. I'm glad we can carve you away from the combine harvester tonight to come oh, in and test you. with us, my dude. Not me. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Well you I believe you anyway, if it's any consolation. I was watching the sector times there on your fastest lap, which was a 49.3, but in sector one on the fastest lap, uh, fastest sector you did, was almost three temps in there, so yeah. I'd done a 48 in testing, so you're really touching them 48s at the minute, my friend. Yeah, yeah. But, it, yeah, yeah, it's a consistency still. Yeah, man. But the race is still crap. Yeah, you'll get there with it, man, but, I mean, it's slowly creeping down, right? I remember a time when we were doing the 52s, 51s, into the 50s, into the 49s, and now we're going into, like, the 48 kind of areas. You're right on it, bro. That's a fast lap. Yeah, I can turn around to the missus and say, no, it's a uh, new computer's well worth it. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. I'm sure she'll understand that, Doug. I'm, I'm almost positive. Nah, I wish, yeah. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I mean, I was uh, wishful thinking from my side, that was, but it's, <laughs> it's lovely to hear your buddy voice again, my friend. How are you? Hey, have we got a beer at the ready? Oh, yeah. I'm going right. to go and get the rest of mine. Get in a minute. Okay, dokie. Well, I'm, I'll open mine up and do a Sante, a Prost, a Cheers, and a Skull when Doug's ready. Doug's slowing us down at the minute, in all honesty, but... What I'm it? ready now, I'll finish this one with you and I'll go and get Right, okay, it. right, I'm going to open it up, fine. Still on the lap. Ah, Mac, the number 369. Okay, so, wherever you are in the world, Prost, Cheers, Santa, Skull, Privet, thank you for being here. Uh, this one is for Doug being back in the comms booth with us. Cheers, Doug. Cheers, everybody. Oh, well, that's cold. It's been in the fridge for a few days as Mr. Road Mac goes out a little wide there, testing the uh, testing the old physics there of uh, what the Ferrari can do. Of course, we've all been absolutely hammering the Norse Life since it came out, I believe, last week now. God, what a track that is. Honest to God, it's uh, super fun. I wouldn't advise anyone to do a 24 hour there with no sleep. And over 27 to 28 hours of actual streaming it. I'm not cut out for that anymore. Welcome into our regulars. We've got Kay Adam there in the way, in the lead rather, of a 147.1. Mr. Eric Binder now, hot binder. Uh, Doug Tilly, of course. Chris Penrose, uh, Mr. Road Mac. Uh, Esplan may have raced with us before, I think. Is, is that Justin? I, I think that's Justin in the number 44 there. So welcome in Justin as well. And is Zeman sneaking in there? So Zeman, I was talking on Jonathan Glover's channel earlier on uh, to Riddle Time, who is also Dutch, and he said Zeman stands for C-Man. Any confirmation on that, my friend? Well, look at me with adverts and stuff. Sorry about that. Oh, I'll go and get the rest of my drinks. We'll be There's, back in that's the spirit, my friend. Hello, starting this up right now. Pros to you. Been a while and trying new setups. Yeah, well, it looked like you were finding the limits of the setups there, but yeah. So far, so good. Welcoming Peter as well. Welcome, everybody. Obviously, it's a weekday, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a weekday, so what the turn that'll be, I'm not sure. So we'll see how we get on. Ah, yes, that's true. It's my surname. Right, okay. Right, I'm with you now. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Riddle Time, and he was saying that Zeman was actually a sea man, so we're on about seaman legs. Sea man legs, not seaman legs. Um, yeah, basically, 
there was something in the description there that I didn't quite get right, so I was corrected by my Dutch friend, so I'm glad he did. It's lovely to have you in, my dude. Uh, yeah, as, as we go, it'll be... Um, Imola for the second half of the show. I believe that's what won the boat anyway, so... I'll just check it very, very quickly. I should have maybe done that before that. Yes! Okay, so over 28 votes for the tracks for tonight, for the second half of the show. Uh, Imola got 57% of them. Uh, Bathurst, 29%. And Silverstone still not getting its credit it deserves at 14%. So, see how we get on. Kind of expecting Bucky, this... Yeah. Oh, there we go. My bad BMW, sorry. Okay, Adam, uh... Apologising for something out on track. But it's nice to be back. It's nice to be doing these lobbies and it's nice to get to see the, all the boys that are coming back in. The number 14 Audi across the line and goes into P4. Nice job. Let's see Penrose on the 46.9, so absolutely bloody flying. Seven Spender, the number 46 being W now in to P6. Of course, the lap times will come up as thick and fast. There's still a lot of room in this lobby for those that want to come and join. I say a lot of room, there's actually about seven or eight spots left, but yeah. We'll be heading to Imola after this one. Uh, should be good fun. Don't forget to hit the like button, everybody. Exactly. Hit the like button or Doug will come and find you, and he is not afraid to plant some wheat. <laughs> God, that is super cold beer, that is. But welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Cronenberg's on display for tonight. We've got four of them. We'll see how many we can get through. I doubt we're going to be able to get through four. Chris Penrose with an even quicker time that time around. No pun intended, on a 46 4. So that's pretty good. At the minute, he leads the way by over six temps to Mr. K. Adam. Uh, McLaren's top of the board at the minute. You would expect that kind of with, uh, kind of with the uh, the Monza layout, the back, the way it is, and whatnot. But I'm sure there's a lot of different cars that are going to have their own way of come uh, in the lower as well. So you know it's going to swap and change. We'll see how we get on. Appreciate everyone jumping in. Thank you very very much. Up to 23 in the lobby at the minute. I believe this is the dude, it's N. Hanold, the number 211. He's on a quick lap, I believe. He's got, what, two seconds to find to find his way up to P6. He is under attack for some reason. Who is the McLaren? That was uh, Eric <laughs> that decided to throw it up the inside of him. I think he might have been a blue flat car there as well, so a little naughty there. And Hal not going to be too happy with it, but nevertheless, I don't think there was any impeding going on. Ivan, I'm not sure what's going on with your connection, my friend. No, I've got no ten point for it. Yeah, I think everyone's uh, okay at the minute. Of course, you, you got a bad. Uh... I can't see him on the thing. Oh, no. oh yeah, he's 23. 23? No, he hasn't got a bad signal. He's in a Bentley. That's a bad signal, mate. Probably good. Oh, no, 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 I need it, bro. I couldn't see it, so that was uh, that helped me out massively. Yeah, his signal doesn't look all that too bad. You've got El uh, Angeletto and, more importantly, El Aris here, who is in the... Uh, I think that's the V8 that is in that. Yes, it is. Screaming its way down into the Parabolica. Hello there, guys. V has dude, Justin. Welcome in. Hello there, guys. Ah, well, as I saw your comment and your other comment on there as well, Justin. Hello, welcome into the lobby. D Adams of the Sim Racing, uh, the the Sim Cafe community popping in here too. We are a full lobby at the minute, so we'll see how we get on. See how the boys are doing. It might be fantastic to actually have an on board with this Aston. See how he gets on. Currently P7. Nope. Even Justin. Hope you're well. It's not gonna do. So he'll be into the pit lane. Here comes K. Arich now, the number 992. Comes across the line. No time set at the minute. Currently P15. Where does this one put him? Up into a top 10 position. Currently P9. That was uh, Seven Spender. Top 10 positions in this lobby. And this is Hanel now. Did he manage to get through on Binder there? I think he did at some point. So these two having a, a good old fight between each other. And the two, two one one. Just pulling off to a side there. 
Next up on their lap will be F Sotorel, the number 66 Ferrari. I took this Ferrari out for a spin earlier on at the Nordschleife and oh my god it is a go-kart of a car. It's super bloody quick. So it would be fun to see how it gets on. Currently leading Ferrari is Mr. Antoleno, the 182. Ooh, I tell you what, while I was there, I actually missed K. Adam putting in a hell of a lap. That gap is down to 6.2 thousandths of a second, so pretty close. I'm not sure if I can race. Got some problems on my PC and just about to just about to solve them. Hey, man, I appreciate you popping in, my dude, Justin. I really do. It's a shame that we're not going to get to see you do your thing out on track, but uh, yeah, we're going to Wimola as well. So we'll be on for an hour, a couple of hours anyway, bro. So if you manage to get it sorted, you know you're always welcome to, uh, to come on in. Uh, welcome to the nine people currently watching on the stream. If you haven't already, do hit the like button. Uh, every little helps. Algorithms, computer science. Here comes the number 66 across the line, and he's done a good job there. He actually gained uh, probably about a second in lap time. Up to P4 at the minute. Times are coming at us thick and fast right now. This is N deck, the 36 BMW M4. He's currently sat in P8. About three or four attempts, we'll see him jump up that order. No improvement that time round. There goes K Adam across the line. No improvement from him, but if he wanted to chase that P1 down. The number 992 across the line. Didn't see an improvement there. Here comes uh, some sides the end, the number 46. Nothing doing this time around. Here comes Eric Binder across the line. 1.2 off the front, guys, at the minute, but he's giving everyone a fair shake. Uh, Zeman up to P3 as well, so times are looking pretty close towards the top of the grid at the minute. P.O. Dawes, number 88. And I'm almost positive. I am positive that uh, P.O. Dawes, number 88. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, buddy, but I'm sure I saw you uh, on the Nords 24 hours. On, on the stream, rather, just uh, commenting. I'm positive I did. I'm like, I'm like an elephant. I never forget this kind of thing, so... There's absolutely... No doubts where K. Adam and Alec, Mr. Zeman would be. Close together, joint at the hip they are, until getting all crossed up. Is that a valid lap? He invalidated it there, just in front. Uh, ah, Bonder now in the 62 GT2. GT, yep, GT2. Jesus, I'm getting better with it. Uh, it's a rocket in a straight line. We're looking on board with Mr. Zeman now in the only fans McLaren livery. Let's see how he gets on into the Parabolica. It's GT2, I think, pulls off around Parabolica. I may have just got it all wrong. Top Z three within a second of each other? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> top three within two tenths of each other, which is pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, currently, I'm, I've made a PB, but I'm only on for a 46.9. I just need to stop messing up. That's still a fantastic time, Mr. Pregnant. Jesus. Can K Adam improve this lap? <clears throat> it's not holding a tight line. Is it an improvement? Might be. No, nope, not this time around. Here comes Elrich across the line. No improvement from the Porsche driver. Here comes C. Penrose, currently leading away. He's going to want to extend that gap. It's a little tight at the top. <clears throat> Nothing improved this time. And uh, Blum Reiter, he comes into P4. So, <clears throat> top five positions. All McLarens at the minute. Let's see how everyone gets on. Again, we are a full lobby. And Privet to the number 99 Aston Martin driver. I'm not sure this is going to be an improvement from Pete or Dawes. Maybe he's wound up to go again. But he is holding a tighter line here, so maybe I'm wrong. It was an improvement. Two tenths of a second, I think, are around that point. This is V Predoco now, the 198. Hey uh, Adams has had a little ding in qualifying. Oh, has he? I don't know whether everything's going to be said. Oh, it's not happy. I'll have to review that footage there. Uh, it looks like Siggy Sam Cider is the culprit of that, so let's just have a quick look. Yeah, I just said check mirrors, so. Okay. You, you could see it come in, but. <laughs> Why is some I don't know, sort of they both on five laps or not? I don't know. Well, it doesn't look like the 722 was. 722, he gets going, he was just waiting for him. I was watching him. Yeah. Um, 
but it's further round. What was that? Yeah, let me know on your screen. I don't know whether he moved the cross out the way or not, I don't know. I think maybe he was trying to trying to pull across there. Yeah, that's what it looks like he's trying to pull out the way. Yeah, I think he was trying to come out the way. It doesn't help yeah. here, I don't know that, but... Comes on number 74. This is D. Adams of the Sim Cafe Racing Drivers. Let's see if he can improve into P12. Not a bad effort by the man. Anywhere near the top 10 in this lobby is going to be pretty impressive. Yeah, he wanted to make more room. If you read the comments, they were right there, good. Oh, Nate M commented Masano. Yeah, I'll, I'll put Masano up tomorrow. Do we have another yellow flag out here? That is our bomber now. Let's have a quick look. Here's the GT2, right? Let's have a look what happens into it. Gets it all wrong. <laughs> Please don't reverse onto a live track. He's breaking, so I guess that's all good. I appreciate the brakes. We have some action out on track. Our boy Justin just off there through a scary. Maybe just trying to come out the way. A lot of drivers are coming across the line now. Penrose across the line. No improvement for him. This is F Santriel, the number 66 Ferrari, as we get a real crappy camera angle there. No improvement. Uh, 30 seconds left of this session. Jen Aletto with an interesting line across the scary, but he seems to have made it work. So, each to run. The number 47 of Menpe is out of here. C backer, the number 79 BMW M4 driver. Why are the cars all over the place here? It's number 31 off. Well, hopefully, you can bring it out of the way, Mr. Gullies. Uh, Justin, and hello, Doug from Rog Mac. Cheers to you, Mr. Matt. Oh. Hope you are, Roger. Cheers. Double cheers. Doug was slacking. Cheers to you, mate. Sorry, I was busy watching the uh, couple of cars come over the line. <sighs> this is our Chilton now. That is 76992. Lots of yellow flags. That was M. Jones back into the pit. We'll keep aboard with the pass driver. Yes. See the sun is starting to come down a little bit. This is the last chance for us here. Can Blunt Rider do anything? Yeah, I'm looking at the 337 across the line. It looks like Penrose is just about holding his position now. Penrose doesn't improve. Here comes the number 7 of AA. Oh, in P7, AA. And that is it, I believe. Demon. Is he on a flyer? No, no, he's a no. Blue, blue dot flag there. Oh. Car right. number 7. I don't know what he's. Something he is neither. So we will get heading off soon, very, very soon. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Here we go. Right, ladies and gentlemen, race one of the night. Let's keep it clean. Not give me uh, everybody. too much to do here, hopefully. So yeah, it's just going dust now. Uh, penalties are up to. Ah, 
I will review. the race one and nine. It's always a dodgy one at Mons. Everyone's just finding the feet for the first race. Welcome in Simba as well. I didn't see a sneak seconds. in there, my friend. I'm going to go and buy with someone within the top ten. It may be Sue Barker. Yeah, it'll be Mr. C. Barker. Barker. We'll check out just what happens here. Okay. I think he's just turned his engine off for 79 there, so that's not a great start. Uh, good luck, Napoon. Alright, let's see how we get on here. Into turn number one. I can't guarantee everyone in this lobby. Justin into the pits. That's not good. And I think Justin's just out of the lobby as well there too. So we have lost Justin, unfortunately. He did say he was having some issues with the PC. Into first race of night at Monza down the tribute straight now. Let's see how these boys all get on into turn one. There's a, there's a GC2 up there. Cold brakes, cold tyres. Cold head, it's been a little while now. Into turn one, let's see how we get on. The boys managed to keep it stopped. But for the most part, there was contact out in front. I will review it, so just keep it. I don't know what like, my grabbing did there. The boys did that. Review it. <coughs> Better damage for the boys. I will review. Oh, boys getting all the breaking zones. Okay, Adam with a very interesting line through there. He's going to need to let the number 7 back through, I believe. Archer with his own interpretation of that corner too, but he keeps it going. A 666 is off too. Zeman leading this race. Penrose and Vampy behind too. Yeah, I need to restart. Another and we got another crash. A big one, it looks like. And I think Max involved in that one, too. Okay. Right, okay. It's even leading the way. I just want to make sure everyone gets through turn one all right. I'm sorry to ail Aris now, but I want to just make sure everybody has the first shake out on track. Zeman leading the way. Penrose very close behind, only three temps. Also, Vampy very close behind them. A little bit of a gap forming between three and four, who is Zendek now. Vendor not too far behind, and Blue Brights are even closer. Into turn one. Let's just make sure everyone makes it through that and then we'll review what actually happened at turn number one because that's not the way we want any of that stuff to kind of unfold and happen. It looks very much as you were between the top three. Loving that stuff. On to the brakes. These boys too. Just a bit further back, however. These cars are line of third with Peter in the middle of this and Kay Adam is, uh, is trying to find his way through here. On to the brakes. Kay Adam. Oh, comes oh. way out of the way. Shame. Obviously, I've only reviewed that. Alexandra is the same wasted, apparently, so we'll, we'll review it. But there was a Ferrari there that I'm not happy with either. Right, let's review what has actually happened there into turn number one, because K. Adam was the big loser in that one, so we'll see what actually happens to him. Okay, so he's on the inside. A little touch from Penrose. And it just looks like, who is that that gets turned around? That is Blutemeyer. How does he get turned around, then? And it's just a little short. It's, a, it's an absolute race of incident of going three wide at turn one. There's nothing anybody can do about that. 
And there was a lot of crap that happened after it too. But what happens up here? Number 66. Alright, so something evidently happens around here. Let's check. Just onto the loud pedal to it to for Mr. Jones. What is going on? So a tap there from the BMW behind oh, this. So number 96. A Chilton. Okay. Definitely the number 96 Chilton. So 96. Oh yeah, just so so close man. To getting away with that one. Simba does lift. So into turn number one, I want to see what happens with a Ferrari, because there's a, there was a Ferrari that just went straight on, and I don't know who that was. Who was that Ferrari? Because it was Kay Adam I want to see, because it was just in front of him. Number 90. Yeah, Adam was never slowing that down. Which is weird, because that will, didn't look like contact, right, between... I'll tell you what, what's the comes out? Not the boss comes up right. And where was the Ferrari then after this? Because it just ploughed straight on. Yeah, so, so the number 66 and Shilton. Okay, at the minute, sorry guys. Let's catch up with the race, boys. All right, Zeman leading the way. Penrose, go for on the last corner. Oh no! So let's catch up with the race. Yeah. No, it's all right. It's all right. I'd rather know about it. The number eighty-eight. Let's just check what actually happened there. The boys need to sort themselves out. That's already hit by the number 14. Yeah. There's a bit of the chicane as well, but I don't think it's worth. But I tell you what, the number 14 lifts off and gives up the positions back, so I'm happy to uh no need for that. Have we seen something happen here? Well, obviously, obviously, there was some magic badges that went on before that, I get that. Hang on. What? Uh, it's comp the steering's completely gone, but at that point, the, the number... Yeah, the number 198, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to be in this lobby anymore. Is in there. I'm gonna have to bring you in, what the fuck, because it can't sit there on the track. Uh, Siggy, not happy with there's something else that happened out on track. I'm just trying to keep on top of everything at the minute. There is a race going on too, so I still have to let you pass. He did. But the guy that hit you, the number 14 Audi, 
he had a bent steering. I don't think he meant to hit you. He just came off the steering and it whacked him. But in all fairness, it's not a time penalty. He should have came into the pits. But we'll leave that to the marshals. Because I am on it. Yes, his steering was bent. Understand the frustration, especially when you're in a tight race, right? Okay, so the closest battle's out on track at the minute, and I tell you what, is that the Sim Cafe driver that's on the ass end of the 992 now? He ran into me on purpose, you could now look at the replay. It, it wouldn't, it, it could, you could see that, okay. His steering was completely bent, as soon as he left, lifted off the throttle, he literally turned left where you was obviously but I give you your props of the turn one by hitting the Audi the, the other cars in front of you because you waited and that's what I love to see out there out on track uh, so there was no penalty for that even though it caused a bit of a ruckus but I don't think he did that but if you watch the replay of the car that hit you his steering was at like a 90 degree angle and as soon as when you lift when that is like that it kind of swerves so I don't think he's going to hit you he has a time penalty I know it doesn't give you the positions back out there on track um, Number eight is into the pit line too. I know that doesn't give you your positions back. I understand that. Oh, does he manage to get that stopped? He does. What a move there by D. Adams. Nicely done. It's kind of contrary to my look, but yeah, I need to restart my job. Welcome to the 16 people currently in the YouTube chat. If you haven't already, do hit the like button. It helps massively. We're going into the dead of darkness right now. It's been a bit of a messy one at the start of this race. Yep, I saw that. Oh, that's the wrong button. I still, I, obviously, he, he has a time penalty for, for exactly what he did, but I still don't think he meant to do that. Do the thing. Let's get checked clean. All right, here we go. Zeman's still leading the way on this one, and he's got quite the gap there to Mr. Penrose behind. D. Bloom, matter, however, does have the fastest lap of the race, and that is currently a 46.5, with the possibility of another two temps in there. So he's uh, he's low 46s, even in this sort of conditions. Just a bit further back, though, Simba is finding his way up onto the ass end of Eric. That should be an interesting battle, see how that one kind of unfolds. We have just, just over eight minutes left of this one to go. Uh, closest battles out on track, apparently, according to the Delta, would be... Oh! Give me a better camera angle on that. Looks like the Sim Cafe driver is going to find his way around the 722 now. That was an interesting line around there. Let's make sure everything's all fair in love and war, obviously. Uh, good evening, D-I-R-C. Good evening to you, my friend. Alright, just making sure that McLaren's not... Cutting every corner on the clock. It gets a little wrong through there, but it's fine. Everyone's got aware of it to an extent. Looks like Bender's about to come up onto the ass end of the GT2 in front. That was a bad bounce, wasn't it? Went away through that corner. On board the right behind an hour, a resident American driver. Good to see him back out on track. Number six, 720S. Is he defending here? Yes, he is. Simba is up the, up the rear. He's going to have an hard time. It's going to be on the brakes now. And going around the actual outside here is always difficult to do. We're going to go on board with the Aston Martin driver now. A kick of oversteer as he exits Parabolica. But I tell you what, his drive's not been too bad here. He really wants to try and have that draft. It's just a straight out drag race at this point between the two of them. I tell you what, the Aston's a little bit of a rocket in a straight line, right? It's uh, He's finding some pace. It's onto the brakes into turn one. Simba getting the job done. Eric conceded that one for the time being. Six 
minutes 50 on the clock. Still all to play for. I do want to just check very quickly who the number 14 is. That's what the fuck. I, I can't say his name on YouTube, unfortunately. I, I get demonetized. But yes, the number 14 Audi driver. I just need him to be aware, uh, six and a half minutes to come, that uh, Zeman and the race leaders will be coming up on him. Not right now, they 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 have a healthy gap to the cars in front. Bit of a battle happening behind between Arich and uh, Simon Spender now. So another Audi outside the pit lane. Very dark, so it might be tricky for the boys to uh, to find their braking zones. Oh, and the Audi with an interesting, uh, interesting line there. I managed to make it work. I'll make sure the car there isn't actually getting in his way. But Ferrari is for position, however, he has a time penalty, so we'll see how they get on. Also, is that M Jones behind? It is indeed. Bit of damage on the front end of that car. Oh, it just about makes it stop. Uh, Mr. Jones needs to figure out the braking zones and fast as he's got Doug Tilly all over the ass end of him. Doug maybe looking for a move, but he chooses to sit behind until there's number one now. I really, really want to go on board with Doug Tilly, but he hates it. Right, let's go on board with Doug Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Doug. Sorry. It's a great band. I've got to be used to it. There's a bit what's it in front. Oh, it's all kicking off. Doug takes the. Uh... Was that any contacts in front of that? Do you think they just got loose, Doug? I didn't see what happened. Okay, let's just quickly revert to that. It was where Doug is. And it was a Porsche, right? That's Arich. Okay. He's struggling. I think the pressures have caught him out a little bit. So yeah, just get gets it wrong into a scary. Don't pull the left hand way. Thank you. Okay, does some actual uh, a brain cell there. We do have some battling going on. Was that Doug? Two trailer park dogs go around the outside. Oh, he loses out with the traction there, just on the inside of the, the first hand the right hand corner, but on the left. Doug's going for it. Doug's through. Oh, Alrich on the back of the door. We might have a good on board here. Gotta be careful, these boys, as they head in to essentially the first again. Oh! Oh, he ain't stopping that, is he? No, he's not, but he needs to give that position back. There, yeah, he's let me through. Okay. Good bow. Just a quick update for the user guys at home. Ailey Zeman is leading a road to Simbra, uh, Penrose. Simrose? Where have I got that from? Penrose doing a good job. Blue and Maritza doing a fantastic job too. Simbra's found his way up on P4. Mr. Eric Binder P5. Then back P. Uh, Chilton back at Peter Dem. And Mr. Adam is not going to be happy about the way this one's gone. But plenty more racing to go in the night. That's your top 10 positions. Closest battle out on track at the minute. Is the one we're looking at. Good evening, Justin. Good evening, boys. Hey, Justin, how's it going? You got your PC set fixed? Well, not quite, but I'm working on it. Are you working on it? I mean, you'll get there eventually. I'm sure of it, man. Is it an update or just uh? Just like everything. Mm. Being the GPU is good. So. Well, that's not good news. Yeah, I think I'm in the market for a, a new GPU soon, as well as a, a graphics card and whatnot. So. Well, I reached the hand. If you got one, check on the desk and have a look. Right, uh, well, I can check. But I'll be in the market soon. Hopefully you manage to get it fixed. That's, like I say, uh, well, if it's the GPU that's completely cooked, then we're all completely screwed, I think. Is that the Audi coming out yeah. of the way of these boys? Yeah, tap fast. Who is the BMW? Who is that BMW? If Lutgum needs to come out of the way. Hopefully 
lovely. I'm just going to say, who's that BMW? Is a regular here on the channel. 722 is off. To check that out. Who is that? 722 off now and uh, out, of, out of the lobby it would appear as well. So, yeah, there was a lot of different stuff happening within that race and the guy was involved in a lot of it. Obviously, it's down to you guys to be in the lobby. Uh, Jay Chaplin, welcome in. Luke can welcome in too. We have Peter, who's in a fantastic position at the minute. He does have Mr. Adam bearing down, but I think Adam's probably going to have a lot of damage on that car and back. And decides he needs to uh, cut track a little bit. I don't know what that gap was. Let's have a look at it, just in case. He... Well, it's, it's closing back up. I don't want to see anyone gain an advantage through cutting the course like that. It looks like it's all fair and looking more at the minute. Is Peter going for a move? Whoa! Thank you, Peter. What shot is that? Was, that was a, a breaking zone and a half for the boys back there. It looks like we've got a fight on here between the 337 of Bloom Rita and Penrose. Penrose. The man of the hour when it came to qualifying in our first race. We're going to keep on board here with the 337 as we head into the Parabolica. Welcome into everybody at home. Uh, I believe Zima's not going to be able to slow it down. There's going to be another lap. Please tell me you've got the fuel. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, I got no, no, fuel. no. It's fine. Just where it's cl clean to do it. Oh, look at the battle in behind that. It's the brakes. Penrose is very good on the brakes. So. Has, has he come out of the way? Legend, thank you. I want it in, uh, like uh, catching up with the actual leaders of the lobby, you know. In fact, anybody in the lobby, you know. It's not just down to the actual leaders itself, but good view of now a point right uh, chasing down Penrose. That is not the line that we needed to get the drive out. Welcome in, Sebastian. Good evening, Eddie. Good evening to you. Welcome to 21 people currently tuned in on the YouTube channel. Prost, Santa, Skull, and cheers to you guys. Looks like Siemens. Maybe got this one in the back. I don't want to count my chickens until they're hatched. I don't know the, du the Dutch stain for that one, but he's just got a god for Derma through Ascari, through Parabolica, and it looks like he's going to take on P1. But anything can happen. This is racing, of course. Granted, to the purist, they're not real cars. But believe me, when you're sat in these things and you're actually driving, the racing is very real between all the drivers out there. And it's been a fantastic result so far. There is a battle going on between Penrose and Blute Martin now, but I do need to give our race leader his credit. We'll have to see how this one unfolds. Race, what a night is going to be taken on by Mr. A. Zeman, the number 15, and a flash of the lights. We're loving that, my friend. P1 in the lobby, followed by Penrose and Blute Martin. Well done. Case okay, Simba. Pulling up, is that a blue flag Maserati? It is a, a hopefully it's not impeding uh, Simba too much. But here comes across the line, Mr. Simba now, P4. And that was from a long old way back for the Aston Martin driver. Here comes Eric Binder now, the number six McLaren driver. Fantastic drive from you, my friend. P5 in the end. Here comes Mbappe now, the number 27 McLaren driver. G Chilton behind. Thank you for driving through your penalty. K Adam as well with a flash of lights. We appreciate that, brother. Thank you, my friend. Mr. Barker, Peter Dev across the line, followed by Ancelot. Uh, P.O. Dawes, who I'm positive was in the bloody uh, live chat in the 24 hour race as well, so I appreciate it. If it is in case you, the number 88 BMW M4 driver is going to bring it home for P12. Well done to you, and Mac as well across the line and a flash of lights. Appreciate that, brother. It's Insta D. Adams, who has a fantastic race, bit of damage on that car as well at one point. We've got a bit of a battle going on here. Doug's got the bit between his teeth, but it's M. Jones leading the way into Parabolic. He's going to be going very wide here. Maybe you have to lift a little bit. This is oh, Oh, this is going to be quick. If you are right to return that position, Doug. Yeah, I've stopped. Hopefully, I M. Jones... We just lost that much speed. I think M. Jones might be having to pull it into the pits. Doug, just cross the line, my friend. 
I didn't realise he was going to Oh, I know, you've not, I've not, I know you've not done that on purpose. I, I understand that. Watch across the line, P16. I know you haven't done that on purpose. And very close, S. Blair as well, facing down what the Audi. So that must have been a back marker too. I apologise to uh, Mr. Jones there. Fireworks going off. We're going to have another round. It's going to start. This is going to be a daytime race, and obviously, we'll go back into the same principle as we did before. Well done to Mr. A. Zeman, Penrose, Blue and Writer, uh, K. Simba, S. K. C. R. Simba, as well. Well done for the boys there. To play games, best finish in the server on Monza. Well done to you, my friend. You've, there's some drivers that are having a fantastic race at the minute. So, yeah, we'll have a, another one. This is going to be a day race. Day race at Monza. And we're heading into. No time progression. Who was the first driver out on the track of the minute? Thank you, Dubai, as well. And Santa to you as well, Sebastian. First driver, oh my god. <laughs> first lap live on board with. It really is, yeah. Hopefully, he's not feeling the uh, <laughs> the pressure. Yeah, yeah. Every time I put, every time you're the first one out of the box. You've done it to yourself, pal. The number seven twenty Doug Tilly has been an absolute legend since joining us through the PC. This man went to such an extreme to get it working on ACC that he bought a whole new bloody PC. There was the commitment. I want to stress though for these drivers that are out in here when we're on board with the first, first couple of laps that basically these are not going to be the fastest yeah, laps bad, from you. these drivers, you know. The tyres are coming up to pressure, the fuel load is still a little higher than you what it normally would be. So these are by no way a representation of these drivers' skills, levels, times. They will naturally drop. But for you guys at home, we're going to stick on board with Doug Tilly, number 720S, 720S driver, uh, as he uh, comes around on his installation lap to, to go across to his first lap. But when he keeps it in the white lines, he'll be the first man to set a, uh, a valid lap time. Also, welcome in to Rog Mack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sub one minute from Doug, coming in. But welcome in, welcome in Mac as well, I see you sneak in there, my friend. Has he done just instantly muted his mic? I'm blaming Mac for the Liverpool result at the weekend, so... Start out with a grain of salt. Welcome into the 23 people currently watching the stream. If you have oh, already, I will let you off this once, Rog. Again, welcome in, Mr. Rog, back to the uh, the live stream. I'm all right. I wasn't happy with the result the other day at the football, but this is coming from somebody that doesn't support them, right? And then you went off to watch the game. I knew that was a bad omen. I didn't go to watch Did you not watch the game? Somebody said it was then, and I was positive it was you. I was uh, cussing you out. I was for a, for a long part of that uh, for a long part of that game. But it's lovely to have you. How how are you? And how has your uh, weekend plus start of the week been, Mac? Not bad, mate. I'm good. Weekend's good. Little ones come down not well, so oh shit. Over then. If you Up got till three o'clock in the morning with her. Jesus. And is it? You still you've got the holidays across there, right? You've got the you're a week yeah, behind us or something. Yeah. Yeah, you've got an, an extra week. Hang yeah, on. well, they're off this week. Yeah, so you've only got the two weeks, right? Yeah. But you started a week after us lot, I get uh, essentially. Yeah. Right, I'm with you. Jesus. Well, at least there's a week. Ah, I guess a week there with the holidays with the little one not being well. You know, it could be all through school and having to go through all that stuff. So pros and cons, obviously, but it doesn't make your life any easier. Yeah, no, it should be alright. Oh, Doug just keeping it within the lines now. No pressure, man. No pressure. Well, that's good news. Uh, Matthew Jones. Oh, give me enough pressure. He's not even He's setting a lap. Is that, who is that? Is that He's Penrose? not even setting a lap. You know what? Come on. Oh, my lap. 
Yellow flags and hopefully that doesn't come in tonight. Eric. Alright, come on. Nasty little boy. Eric's usually pretty uh a pretty handy driver. But obviously, uh first lap, Doug's already on a lap, he's in is entitled to these lines, obviously, and we have a live on board there with Doug as well, so it didn't look brilliant on the uh, the stream there. That's not how we wanna Never get that first one, unfortunately, but it is what it is. A lot of drivers in validated laps at the minute. Number 69. Has Peter got damage on his car already? What is happening? Looks like damage all over the left-hand side of Peter's car, all right? And 14 of Peter does. He's going to start his next lap. Who is actually on a valid lap here? Is it actually AA? Is set of 48... 48 8? Let's see what happens here. He's got Simba in front of him, who isn't on a lap. And the number 12, who is... I don't know. It was not a lap, right, okay, so... Hopefully these boys can sort themselves out, because they have been currently blue flagged for Mr. AA. t TV, the 101 driver, a 48A. Ooh. So it's, it's a long way to start short. Yeah, I know, right? 47. Sorry, I didn't think you were on a qualifying lap. Was he on a qualifying lap? Yeah, he said in the chat on YouTube that he was also on a qualifying lap. No, I did break a bit earlier. Oh, right, you, you came across as a blue flag to me on there. I wonder why that was. Sorry, I apologise if it was, obviously. Yeah. Obviously, it just requires a little patience from, I guess, both cars. It's never nice to have your qualifying lap uh, compromised. Yeah. I understand that, but it is only the first lap, so that lap's really not going to be anything completely worldly, right? So maybe, obviously, if you're on that sort of thing. The only issue was, obviously, Doug was on the lap too, so you, you've ended up compromising each other's laps, unfortunately. And unfortunately, it was a first lap live on board. This happens to Doug every bloody time. Yeah, it's been, I, exactly. I should have left I should have left him alone, right, and just let him do his thing. That would have never happened, I guarantee you. Mr. Pio does across the line, number 88 into P9. Currently leading the way is A. Mascareno. I number 87. For, <laughs> I'm sure that's not his name anyway, but I apologise if it is. And I made a song out of it. Uh, Mr. Simba, the 23 Aston Martin driver. Kevin Hart, welcome in Santé, my friend. It, it dug you in the pit still? Yeah. Right, yeah. Santé to Kevin, by the way. That's a cheers in French. A che what? It's cheers in French. Santé. 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 You're confusing me now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> cheers in French. Yeah, cheers in French, Kev. Santu, that's what it is. Santu. Santu. Yeah, Santu. 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 There you go. We get them in the end. Yeah, we did get. You confused me. I was fine, and then you, you, you was like, "Oh, is it Santé or Santor?" Well, that's what I like use. Don't put a French <laughs> twist on it. The word is what it is. It's Santu. It's probably not that anymore. I'm gonna get Kev coming to the chat. It's like completely wrong. I hope he does. Yeah, uh, well, there's, there's a chance. That's one reason to ask me on that. Prost. To Justin. Yeah, that's gross to me. Oh, exactly. Oh. There we go. Doug's going to change the word completely by the end of the lap, but yeah, we'll go with Prost for now at least. <laughs> yeah, at least you came in, uh, Eric, and, and, you know, said something. I appreciate that. Peter Dam is flying with the damage as well, which is unusual. Or it might be a visual bug, but oh! Peter Dawes with an interesting line around Parabolica. That's going to see the end of his qualifying session, at least for now. Here comes G Waring now, the number 29 Audi driver across the line. He moves up to B12. Good job. The Good one. Hey, TJ. Hope you're well. Hey, hope TJ you're well. in the chat. Just saw my first advertisement on your channel. I hope it wasn't for growth hormones or men's adult toys or anything like that. 
appreciate it, brother. I'm trying to work out a few things with it. I don't want any mid-rolls. Is that a real quick time? It was by the ARF boys. It's no surprise. When the ARF boys are in any of the lobbies that I'm in, they're always very much at the top. I mean, there's a few of those boys that are easily 45s and stuff like that, so they were very accomplished few drivers. Let's play across the line in P17. Hello, it's TJ. I've been watching your streams, oh, if you know, anyway. Step, I think. Hello, Junior Doug. Okay, I'll be back on this as you can see when I get a new monitor. You don't need one for bloody reading chat, you lunatic. How are you feeling anyway? Because obviously, you said that you came down with uh, the plague, which is, to everybody else is man flu. It's a, it is a killer. Women don't understand it. Uh, D. Lupkin. TJ, he's only, he's only saying that because he doesn't read his chat. So I, I read chat you all the time. You need a monitor read the chat. Exactly. He tried to do it off a phone, I believe, or an iPad, and I think he now realizes just how difficult that is. I'm, I know I make it look, I make it look good, right, and easy, but it's Sorry, difficult. Dude, I hope you get well soon. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not well at the minute. Patio doors. Why is my car black? It's M N S M N. I'm not sure, my friend. If you do have a livery for your car out on track, I saw your interesting line through Parabolic as well that we caught. That's an unfortunate one. Uh, but I'm not sure, but if you do have a livery you want to share with us, you get inside of the Discord, send me a message, and I will add it to my PC. I might start a, um, oh, what's it called? Epic Madness? Whatever it is, it's a livery buddy site, where you can put your own community in there and everyone can download their, they can put their liveries on it. I forget what it's called. TV TV was top of the list last time around, so I'm expecting to be a bit higher up in all fairness. Um, hey all, you oh, distracted me with all your French accents. Santé, Santé, Kev. Yeah, well, it wasn't me who's trying to distract you. I got the word right the first time. It's Doug in here, making up his own stuff. <laughs> Sacre bleu! Like, I had no idea, honest to God. He's a nightmare. But Santé, Kev. They are all close together. Ish. Uh, still saw, oh, saw head. Okay. Really knows. What's up? Top eight by a second. Yeah, yeah, very, very close to one another. Doing a good job. And what is Mac doing? I don't know why this happens. <laughs> not even He's finding driving his laps. <laughs> Just not one single time. Let's have a look on board of our resident moderator at the JS Inversing community. So sorry, I'd yeah, I remember kind of like, this livery. I don't know, Doug. I was gonna say I recognise that. It's really fun. It look like mine. <laughs> exactly, you can't do that. I've got another advert. I apologise if anyone's getting an advert right now. Why am I getting Did the advert? Mac copied my livery. Apologies. Maybe. It's it's yeah. yeah. It's very much like Mac to. But without the pink. It's weird, right? Because I thought Matt was running like a black and red livery before. There is a little. Yeah, he just copied mine, but he made a, a pink part, made it blue. Matt, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I just made it stand out. Right, for okay. <laughs> Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> totally by coincidence. It was, yeah. The so white pit um... last night. CD keys, your advert on your thing, Junior. Really? Yeah. I apologise, I'm going to turn their mid-rolls off. I don't know why it's on there. Uh, it's not wrong, no, it's only a month. few seconds. I don't know why it's on there. I really don't know why it's on there. And there should be no mid-roll stuff. It should be at the start, right? And you can roll an advert at the start because I'm, I've got an intro that's going on for like a minute or two. Plus, we're not likely to get like... <laughs> One billion views where any of that's going to make any sense. I, I don't know how it works. Eric Bender across the line now, the number six. The Doug Missile, we're going to start calling our American driver. Here comes Steve Luke across the line. Have you seen TJ's comment on YouTube? I did it on a phone. I cannot, I cannot do that, but I'll take a monitor. That comment. Uh, you may have to mid roll adverts turn on if people are seeing midstream and uh, you can turn oh. them off if needed. It does mid roll by default now, okay. 
Ooh, I'm gonna be rolling in no, 10 and 15 don't pence. Don't keep apologising. It's fine. Just yeah, don't keep apologising. It's fine. I, I, yeah, but the last thing I want to do is like make sure everyone's got adverts midway through a race. There's people that watch this live while we're racing that are not gonna be able to turn around and skip an advert, unfortunately. While they're out I'm on usually track. not first out on track to qualify anyway, so I was probably well, getting in everybody's way. Yeah, that, anyway. that'll learn so you, I'm Doug. Probably... That'll learn you to get out there. I'm still blaming. I'm still blaming Junior. Though. Yeah, but right. Every time I come on board yeah, with him, there's one. There's one important question: Is Doug Tilley driving one qualifying lap? Once uh, again. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna <laughs> probably stay in the pit. My man is. Six and a half minutes left of this one to go. Six. A 6.46, I don't think so, a 1.46.5 on the ball at the minute. It's even lagging a little bit. Not lagging as in connection-wise, but it's unusual to see Zeman, K. Adam, 1.1 off the bit. What is going on with those boys at the minute? Maybe the temperature's catching them out, maybe tyre pressure's not where they wanted to be, but a lot of these boys... If that much... PB of 46.7, I would never get down to that, so I probably got in your way more than you got in mine. I've still got to get used to people being around me and qualifying and racing as well. So. Oh, well, Eric, I completely take it back. That Doug son of a bitch holding you up at the last corner. Seriously, I'm 46. Yeah, old. I'll let you off that one, Junior. <laughs> All right. So new personal optimum is down to a 46. Seven. Hey, that's it's flying, bro. And this 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 session here, I think should be better for fast oh, lap. Session is full. DJ, it's uh, it's Junior slacking. I'm on my last beer. He's still on his second. Uh, Craig Baker, hey, I was just on the server, so sorry for the bad language. I honestly didn't realise it was live. K Adam 66, I'll get you next time. Yeah, K Adam again, I just want to express he did get a, a penalty for what. He completely missed his breaking point into turn one, right? And he, he, he tried at the last second, I don't know if you watched the replay, to actually come out of the way left. I gave him a penalty straight away because I was watching that, and while I was going to go review something, and I was watching what was happening to that corner. I, and then I watched it again from his perspective. I was like, has he even hit you? Because from his perspective, it, it looks like he just missed you, but actually he was just going that fast that I couldn't see it. So I had to go on board with your car and notice your car get whacked from there. I know how frustrating that is. So he got a penalty. The Ferrari that missed his breaking point also got a penalty that I think hit you as well. I'm on it, my friend. I will uh, check that out. But you don't need to apologize. I understand. It's passion. People... Uh, People are passionate about it, people get upset, I, I understand that, but trust me when I say I am watching everything out on track. I've got people out there too that are driving that will see everything too, and if I, I'll review it and I'll give a, a very fair, honest penalty for everything that's going on. My only real apology to you, my friend, is that obviously that penalty doesn't give you back that position, but I can tell you from experience that K. Adam... He's not a dirty driver. He's racing for several times before, and uh, the fast. Yeah, that's a fair promotion in him. Fast, yes, Instant but dirty yeah. is not. I think he's made a mistake there, and obviously yeah. you were the benefactor of that mistake, which is just really unfortunate. So I apologise. But thank you, Greg, back for popping in. And if, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't hit like, hit like. All them YouTube things, right? We've got the dogs with beamies. TJ with beamies. Santa is watching. Be clean. Right. This one is for Doug for not completing his first lap while we were alive on board with him. And this one is for TJ, who has man yeah, flu, TJ. and he's getting away TJ. with not streaming at the minute. Cheers to those boys. Well, there's one good uh, good answer, uh, good message and a bad message. Yeah? The <laughs> yeah. good one, it's, it seems to work now. The bad Yay. one, server as well. Oh, perfect. Well, I, I I would take I'd take the PC working every day of the bloody week. I would. This is great, with yeah, the admin. I'll yeah. definitely be back on the same. Same. You're more than welcome back in, my friend. It's yeah, just with the, welcome. it's just with the, you know, with the uh, the chat live kind of thing at the side. I catch everything, and I uh, I make sure I review absolutely everything out on track. It's just obviously you. I try to keep that to a minimum when the boys are out on track and racing, because it probably can be very distracting for the other guys out on track. But I get it, heat at the moment kind of thing. I understand how it goes, my friend. So I appreciate it, and you're always welcome back, my friend. Do drop a sub if you're new, and uh, make sure you catch every server that's live and uh, live has been on top of that. All I can guarantee is I'll be it's full, always try to join. Yeah. It fills up quick. We know, yeah, we know how Monza goes, right? So 
usually after turn one and lap one, spots kind of open up with people that throw the bloody teddy out and stuff like that, so I understand that. And obviously when we do go live, we always have a vote on the YouTube channel, on our YouTube channel, on the community section. I put a vote up every time we come on live, and uh, the community, the drivers, everybody can have their say on what we do on the second half of the show, which is usually I'll put a track up, two or three tracks, and it's down to a vote, and the highest track that's voted, we will go to that track, and uh, we'll go have some fun now too. But it's nice to have you in there. That's great, subbed and like. What a legend. Thank you so much. I've lost six subs in four days, as I haven't made any content. Also, that we're... You've got 5k subs too, Jay. How are you counting at this point? And then we're losing them six subs. They weren't worth watching over because if they're going to, just because you're not streaming, the rest of us will be here whether you're streaming or not. So I won't worry too much about this. Oh. Oh, that's pure heartbreak, yeah? Uh, it yeah, happens. That, 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 um, we could all wish we could do that. <laughs> exactly, and get over it as quickly. But... I'm a numbers man. You are. 55 you are years old is 2J, that's the magic number. Can't believe he still streams and whatnot, is hilarious. Why is the number 93 off there as well? That is Pachypelity. Do not rejoin. Do not rejoin. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Thank you. That's, that's the way to do it. Thank you to the 93. Is he good? Oh no, what do you want? Oh really, what's the secret passcode? Nuttle sandwich. That is not You gotta let her back in. Knocking <laughs> <laughs> misses out for a moment. So what? This is our moment. We have to perform. Yeah, I, I, I ain't too good at this thing. <laughs> That's why I just jump on Junior's because he does all the talking. <laughs> yeah, you can sing. <laughs> I can't sing. <laughs> sure you can. Oh! I'm on the server! What was he doing? The number 29 of Guri. Okay, uh, subject, Junior. You can't say you were going to lock your missus, a pregnant woman out all night. She's in, bro. She's in. <laughs> <laughs> I only asked what the secret passcode was. Which I got. It was a knuckle sandwich. That was what she said the passcode was. Well, yeah, that's where we have to uh, bow down it and uh... Yes, I have to give in to that one. Blue flag man, you we're on an outlaps at T Breed, okay. You Mr. might wanna check the laps that get timed. Uh, lap times around a forty-six flat. That is flying yeah. Malgotti. Uh Massandra, uh, Zeman, A and K Adam, very close to one another, then it's down across the line now. This is Peter Dem. Two temps will see him jump up the order. P fourteen at the minute for the man. Here's Eric Bender, the Doug Missile himself across the line, an improvement. He stays in P6 for now. Comes to number 32 of E Italy. He needs to... for that number 44, Doug. Jimmy. Look out with back. Oh, it's just clicked to it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was like, Porsche, what are you on about? <laughs> I got good setup for this. I thought you qualified, that's what I wasn't looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to, but it doesn't matter in time. Oh, it's a bulky. <sighs> Beer, is that only just what is everybody. It? What well, lap? Doug, I'm coming for you. Are you boys on? <laughs> we're taking we're getting fast. <laughs> is it staying light for this one, Junior? I can't remember if you said it was. Yeah, yeah. This is a this is not this is a day race. Yeah. Day race. Um, is this the last two races of this one, or are you doing another one? Or? I don't know. Imola, you've so got Imola, right? You've got Imola. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Perfect. 
lot of gamers in the chat. You guys are I hope for Prime Search. Oh, please give me money. We are live on YouTube. I'm not looking behind you. I'm not looking behind you. <laughs> so, Doug, I can't you come sure? on board with you this time, right? Is no, that... don't right. come on board because I've got pressure as it is. No look at it, bro. <laughs> Keep it clean. We could both make pressure on Mac. I tried to do that in the week uh, at the weekend with at Nurburg, but that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, I had a little play with him, and yeah, that, that didn't go down well. I'm going to spin it out. Now, add some context to that sentence. You had a little play with him. <laughs> well, great, we'll just leave it at that, I guess. Uh, well, I don't have to play, keep, um, <laughs> keep yourself I'm occupied I'm while you're sleeping, ju Junior. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, not allowed. I rule with you. Keep it clean, have fun. Alright, leading the way is Maglati. A Masaro, a Zeman, a AK, Adam Binder, Simba. D Adams is quite high up there. Holy crap, Kev has got a rocket ship of a GT2 there. And he does break early. Evans the professional. Thank you, Kev, for that. Oh, it's carnage behind. Oh, oh there's mass carnage. Perfect. Oh, guys, I'm going straight on. Perfect. I have to feel behind. Well, I'm completely, going to completely died. Uh, we are restarting. Forty-four. What do you want from me? <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't make anything. Oh, my car's not stopping. Oh. Holy shit! Yeah. He... That was bad. I was overtaking a slow car. And I tried to get him out of his way, and he went up my inside where I was trying to go. Yeah, a car pulled in front of me as well. Yeah. So your favour for me. Yeah. Might be taking her to and picking her up from nursery tomorrow. Okay. Because I've got. Oh, months. lucky you, Junior. You got what? Got a mum's. Oh, you got two mums. Yeah, until half past three, because her. What? You're watching a dog. Yeah, her bloke's picking Poppy up at half three. Okay. But do you want to see what Izzy was doing today? I would also? love to. Wrong one. Oh, okay. Hello, Mrs. Sim Rising. You're getting a hello, by the way. Just in yeah, hello. Hi. And Doug saying hello. Yes, she's just carrying a cat around like that. Yes, she's a bit special. Yeah, but he like he doesn't right, care. Doug, once again, I'm coming for you. <laughs> no, I was waiting for that. That's crazy. Do an afternoon stream tomorrow then. He's, she's the only person he's never like bit and scratched. Uh, maybe she. I don't know. Maybe it's a ginger thing. I don't know. Maybe. All right. Thirty seconds. Uh, please break. There'll be no more restart. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Yeah, good luck, everybody. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Sorry for you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try again, right? Just keep it clean and bright. Cat spell. It's a 20 minute uh -oh. race. That's me. Found my diary. We are live on YouTube. Okay, let's try again. Uh, there'll be no restart this time for the boys, because I, I cannot do that, because in all fairness, right, people are on wheels, 
people are on direct drives and as soon as I restart there it literally yanked the wheel back and I don't want to hurt anybody in this lobby Judge Chapman pulling off to the side who's pulling off to the side? that was Mr Chapman Max pulled off no, Mac too, Max Max said none of it keep it clean Mac wants to come and play with us there's a jump start junior by a uh, pink Porsche no. Oh right. Okay. I'm looking for a time pen. I'm looking for a drive-through for jump start. Oh, Zeman gets sent around. Uh, we've got a yellow flag in turn one, boys. Yellow flag in turn one. Simba's around two on top of that. That's not good. I think for the most part, please don't just rejoin like that. Yeah. No, 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 no. Boy, around past the again. I see it. Who is the Audi driver? Because the Audi driver. <laughs> Sorry if I'm shouting. The missus is saying I'm shouting. Sorry if I'm shouting. You're not shouting. It's fine, my friend. We've got a lot of cars out this just, uh, one. Another mess crash at yeah. I just want to see what happens to Zeman, obviously, because that's what kicked this all off. I'm going to review it. <laughs> I don't know what of you. Yeah, I'm just... Okay. Okay. Other than breaking air, I can't have done much, I guess. For the love of God. What happens back here? It's all kicking off, man. All right, the two at nine six, and the Maserati driver. This is about all I can see. The two nine two nine six and the Maserati driver. I am sorry to the boys. It's As a right driver, I don't think. Do you know? I, I think it's a harsh penalty to this 227 guy. I don't think he had anywhere to go. But it is what kicks it off. The number 69 is round. That is be damn. I'm gonna have to look at that. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, killer. P apologies that that went the way it did for you. I understand that. We did have a restart. It's, it's purely on me to have... Oh, my God. Look at the amount of cars we've got out here. There's a lot of boys out here. The one the killer 187. So if I pick, figure out who killer 187 is, please don't come back to the lobby again. I appreciate it. I'm trying to do my best. There's only two guys that currently at the minute... Who are within the number 74 is off. That's D Adams, and he has the fastest lap as well. What is happening here? No, it's not D Adams. He's getting the fight of his life with Zeman. <laughs> oh, he just gets loose, right? Okay, I can live with a mistake. He is quicker than me, though. He's quicker than most, I think, is the what? Who is Killer 187? Because I cannot see Killer 187 in this lobby. Maybe he already disconnected. No, 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 but he says no restart this time, and then, I, then he has said restart afterwards as well. You'd think he was 187, Alright, 
back to the race. Once I was losing the way up into AA with the fastest lap of the race, it was the Sim Cafe driver there. Pick them not happy with something else in the lap either, so I'll have to check that out. Be me from TJC Gaming, I will oblige in just a second. Looks like Chapman's pretty close. Not as close as the Delta suggesting. Glee's pretty close. Not as close as the, the Delta suggesting. E. Illy now on the back of the ARF boy. He's got a lot of damage on the front end of that Beamer, right? He has the side by side. Is the Audi driver in the BMW M4? Zeeman through. Let me look at why is it doesn't it come up with me for the killer 187? Is it be cave, right? You'd think. I do not see him in here. Welcome in, Mr. Malinowski. I'm going to review it for you, Peter, in a second. I just want to see how this one plays out between Italy and the ARF boys. Oh, ARF goes wide. Needs to give up any time gained. That's my only issue. And yeah, he's able to give up the whole time gained, so that's fine. Let's check what happened to Peter in the lap. Show me a Lexus. Oh, he's out already. So that must have. I will get onto it, my friend. I will. Obviously, I don't think he's meant to do it on purpose. I just think he's missed his breaking point. That's the, the only thing. I know that doesn't give you position back. I know that doesn't help you. Action going on back here between the boys. Zeeman, how much damage is that? Don't on come here? on board with me. Okay. Just saying. We won't. Yeah, go on board with Doug. No, don't. Yeah. I'm fucking loving every. Sorry, I'm loving every minute of this. Stream looks amazing. Thank you very much, TJ. Appreciate that very much. Beamies. Oh, I'm missing out on Monza. Office is out of action at the minute. But should be back on at the weekend. I, we, we'd love to have you on, David, obviously. Cheers to TJ. Cheers to Mr. Star. I just want to reiterate. These are pint cans. They're not the baby stuff he drinks. Right, just a bit further forward, our leader um, is going to start coming up onto the 74. And that is the Sim Cafe driver, so as long as they're not impeding. They're obviously not there yet. There is a big gap there, and I think that's about three or four seconds. So I just want to keep on top of that. 70, 74, clearly. Then the 7, which is Blair, and then the 70, it's bulky. They just got lucky. Would you be able to do more backup? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll just pack on that. What do you want? Uh, Bread and butter, cheese sticks, crisps. You no, know she's like. Yeah. I know she doesn't eat it. I know, so. I know. But I'll, I'll do it. I'll sort it out. It looks like K Adams very close onto the back of it. Never gone forward. Heads up, lads! That car beyond you is a blue flag, but he is pushing his way through the park. Oh, and why does Eric? Mac is. Which one is the blue flag, by the way? Is it the McLaren? Uh, cop number one. Yeah, Malarkey. He was leading. No, he wasn't at all. If he can... seems quick. Yeah, if you can clear the blue flags, then fair enough. Yeah. And then, I mean, he's done it pretty clear past me. There's nothing. He's doing it clean there. I'm just giving him a heads up. Okay. Chapman's catching up first. Good one. Just to make sure that obviously our race leader's not going to get caught out here as well. 
A bit of battling going on. It looks like the BMW. Is that Italy? It is. And M Jones is just a further behind now. Oh, there's a note. You're always welcome, Mr. Star. How close is this? Is the blue flags being worried? I don't think there is yet, but he's going to get close to him. And this is a full lap now, so the Sim Kappa driver definitely has pace here. It's just unfortunate what happened on lap one. But oh, no. there's a touch at the chicane. There is indeed Alarjancho and Cassandra. I'm checking it out now. That was a tap. Nothing gained, nothing lost from both of those drivers, so I'll take that with a pinch of salt. Very different. Sandro over hit. Yeah, Cassandra definitely again. Alright. Oh, and uh, wouldn't you know, he's no longer in the lobby anymore, so I apologise <laughs> to the car that got took out in the chicane. and he left the lobby. Let me just check very quickly who was. So, was Cassandra right? A 296, which is going to be unfortunate because... Was there another one after this? No. And then he decides to leave. Right, the 296 of uh, Cassandra then. Who's already had a penalty for that, so. D Cassandra. Okay. We have eight minutes left of this race, and it is hotting up towards the front. Okay, Adam's having to go. It was the Sim Cafe driver that came out the way there, so appreciate it. Oliver, that that same crash that just happened was the same as mine while I was in the lead in the other lobby. I apologise, Oliver, if that happened to you in the in another lobby. But honest to God, uh, there's only two drivers that have got a penalty. Well, there's a few drivers that got a penalty, but there's only two drivers that um, driving through the penalties that they have received. So massive respect to those guys for doing it. Unfortunately, we've got people like that inside the lobby that... Uh, Came in and ruined it a little bit for the number 182, which is El Alinea, back out on track. And, yeah, they leave instantly. But trust me, if they come and join this lobby again, they'll be instantly banned from it. We're trying our best here. Like, oh, just in the background, Blair! No, it wasn't Blair. Who the hell was that? That was uh, T. Malinas. He looks like he's got bent steering. Yeah, he's going to need to return to pits. It's just going to be a hazard for everyone else out there. Alright, still, Masandra, who has the fastest lap of the race, by the way, is a 47 flat, but mind you, there's a tenth in that first section, and holy crap, look at that. So he's on about a mid 46, if he can get all his sectors together. Let me just make, is 17 returning to the pit? He is indeed. Thank you to the number 17, appreciate that very, very much. Who is the next up? It is S. Blair that is going to be lapped by the number 87. Not quite there yet, but I do want to give him a shout, just to make sure. Obviously, the dude's not there yet. There is a bit of a gap. There is some strong racing going on throughout the field. Here is our leader at the minute, with fastest lap of the race. I've never that comment. There we go. 25 people currently watching the stream. Uh, if you haven't already, do hit the like button, of course. Uh, Subscribe if you're new. It's all helpful. I do my best to try and make these online lobbies. These are not private lobbies. These are lobbies you can find if you go onto a set course of competition only. Uh, I own the lobby, essentially. I, I pay for it. rent this lobby. No, it's not a free one. And uh, I do my best to admin it, live commentate it, as we do. I miss a little bit of the racing due to trying to review the crash and stuff. I'll always be as fair as possible. I've been doing this for a long ass time with regards to racing. I've been in many leagues that have admins and stuff like that. I'll always try and keep a very unbiased view, whether it's a friend that's out on track or, you know, a random car, and I will have a, just a straightforward 
I understand what a racing incident is, and I understand uh, uh, what you know is intentional, essentially. Thank you. Thirty-five has blue flags. My eyesight's going, I can't see a 35. Oh, Malinowski, okay. Yeah, yeah, Malinowski, I'm with you. Malinowski's usually pretty on it. Who is the cars behind him? That is a McLaren, right? Yeah, Okay. Yep, he came out of the way. Just as and when the number seven is off just in front there, and that's black. I think he's giving away for the blue flag, so I appreciate that very, very much. It's just wherever it's safe to do so, my friend, and the same with everybody else. If it's safe to do so, number 32 is off there, be early. Let's have a quick look what happened there as we were watching the blue flags. I apologize for that. What happens to eat Italy around here? Is it a case of understate city? Okay, looking good. Here we go. I think he's pulled off. I think he has had enough and he's... Oh. You okay? It's true, he turned off off. Yeah, it's Porsche. That was close, that. Huh? Yeah, I thought it was. It looked it. And now we'll clear the 32. Just kind of add that on there. Doug Tilly up to P13 and I'm marking P12. Zeman finds himself all the way in P11 from the back of the grid pretty much after being wiped out of a top front row position, I believe, but he's under fire and it is Mac behind of all people. Where are our closest battles out on track right now? I think this is it. Been a great race. Here we go. It's good battling going on between Chaplin and Lucan now. I'll tell you what, just behind him is the number 40. Nope, it's not. There's a lap cap. Chaplin and Lucan going at it now with two and a half minutes left of this race. Cross, Jenkins, cheers. Oh, the back on. That was close. Jay Chaplin's on a controller at this point. And I've, I've, we've had him race with us before, I never knew he was on a controller. There's no way that's on a wheel. I think that's a number 8 into the pit lane, yeah. Chaplin, does they get it stopped? They do. Bloody good move, well done. And Jay Chaplin moves on, I think, to try and hunt down M. Jones in front. We have a. Who is that? Possibasque? Uh, is Polish driver, no doubt. I just want to see what happens there. Very quickly. He is coming out of the way, so I can't hack you anything all the way. What happens here? Snaps, obviously. Okay. Is he still in the wall? Do I need to bring him in? Okay. Is he moving? Okay, fair enough. Oh, 
No, how <laughs> I feel with one lap to go by the RF boys. Here comes a Maserino. It's been a bit of a busy one, this one, to uh, keep on top of everybody in the lobby, but I believe... I believe there's going to be another lap. There is. This was going to be the, the last lap after this. 27 people watching at home. Thank you for subscribing to Breed. Appreciate that very much. I'll get a loud notification very much. Are you uh, doing another nods uh, after this or a different track? Well, the boat track is uh, Imola, is the boat track. I'll always put a track up to boat on the number six is off again. Is he. I'm going to bring him off. Clear the photos. Last step, boys. Okay, Adam, going for it. Of course, Kay Adam is in P2 in the GT2 class. It, it is currently in the GT2 class. One of the classes. You get a class, you get a class, and you get a class. The GT2 Maserati is going to be extremely difficult to beat in a straight line. However, on the brakes. The McLaren should have the upper hand, and number six oh, is around on. here. Have, Binder, what has happened there? Just while I've got a minute to check this, what has happened? He needs to give that back, I think. Oh, that was me. Was it you, was it? Uh, yeah, yeah. It looked it? like that was him. I don't want to miss it. Binder's round on his oh, on right, okay. Oh, that's not going to help the GT free driver is cad and waiting. I think he is. As long as he waits for the GT2, I, I can live with that. So the GT2 needs to be clear. No, GT2 passing. Sorry to Miranda across the line, I missed that one buddy while these two were... I mean, I had to try and sort that out. It looks like Adam's it's still GT2 and GT2 class and AI is going to win that one. Binder, not too... Did Binder really just... Every actually finished in P2 because of that. I, I missed that as they all came across the line. Okay, Luton across the line. The number 44 here. Is Luton across the line? Yes, he is. This is That's Justin. Hard, 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 you deserve that one. Doing a fantastic job here. Well done to you, my friend, and I'm afraid one now, please, doing a good job. <laughs> Just in the background, oh, yeah. there's even Tilly and <laughs> Mac. Super bloody close to that the That was runner. a great race. <laughs> yeah. El Antolotti, I apologise to this 182 driver that got taken out by the dude that left with already a time penalty, so I, uh, I'm sorry to you, my friend. <clears throat> I was the driver my level we back. Comes uh, Enmar, P uh, number 35, across the line, in a top 20 position. That's not going drive. Paddy O'Dowes had an interesting start to this one, but does finish piece at 17 or something like that, I think it was. And T minus, well done for that last, last driver. That was nice and sweaty. That was a great race, that dog. I owe them times to you, mate. I was trying to keep up with you and them times. Yeah. It's so sad that we had not race together. Yeah, you you gone. I didn't even see you gone at the start. I don't know where uh, I took over. To, I think in the in the first corner I just gone through and said goodbye. Yeah, I think uh, K Adam and yeah, the other side are coming together through the corner. parabolica. Opposite. Well, most of the time I don't qualify because you. I just don't want to get involved with that. Yeah, that's the reason why I try to be yeah, the best start from the back. Yeah. Yeah. Like really? I just try to be way in the front. Yeah. So the mass behind, uh, cost behind you. But no, the, that consistency, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, it was a great race, though. Yeah. Yeah. Now I can qualify. For the first time in this lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. I will be first. If you're first, you've got to hold everybody up and let me and Matt come first. Come <laughs> on. Uh, no, I'm not first. Hey, yeah. you bought yourself. You finished P2. It's not up to you what happens in front. Uh, Glees, thank you for joining. Hold everybody up so nobody can set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
If I could cause a red flag, I would do it for you. <laughs> hey, Ron. <laughs> Was watching you from the living room. It looks like you had a lot to do, Eddie. Yes, we didn't get to watch too much of the end of that one, unfortunately. There was a lot of uh, incidents involved. Who are we on board with here? It's Jay Kala who's going to be the first lap live on board with. Spell out to say it. is his name right? Uh, am I saying it wrong? Kla? J. Kla? Kla. Kla. Exactly. Kla. There yeah. we go. I've yeah. got my uh, German interpreter in here, so I've got it just about right now. Yeah, it's, it's good. I need to go right now. It was a lot of fun. Have a, I know you did as well, Zeman, but that 43 seconds of damage gave Doug Tilly and uh, Rog Mac. So much fun to yeah, us there. Yeah, it was a great race. Exactly. Um, I thought we were actually quick then. I didn't realise you had a <laughs> <Yeah, that> We <laughs> <laughs> could have kept that bit to yourself. Yeah, it is, even. You shouldn't have said anything for But obviously, totally unlucky into turn one, my friend. I'm sorry that went the way it did, but both uh, Roger and uh, Doug had a fantastic... Uh... No, so, sorry for your dumb Seaman, but yeah, that was a good race. But yeah, Bye, nice. and everyone again. was going now. Alright, see what the uh, driver can do. Oh, sorry, said Zeman. He's not sorry at all, he was just reiterating the air truck at We're sorry you got damaged. Obviously, yeah, it sorry sucked, man. Damage. The first race of the night took on P1. Second race of the night, he didn't make it past turn one. So, it was uh, ups and downs. But Zeman, thank you for having the professional. Forever the good guy, thank you for joining. We're going to keep on board with uh, Jay Kalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
is seven, but fuck you. Got number ten, jumps is third. He can. Simba made it. 147. Oh, he's in the point. Oh, three, two. He's not first. What is number 666 doing? Adam. Car number 16 goes to sixth. Himself. 88. Outdoors. Is not improving and number 70 is going to the first Forky with 146. Whoa. You broke the 146 mark. Where's the 146 is? Yeah, there are they. Next one is 411. Matthias Hordin. Uh, seems to end bothered. Our number 35. I think he's just on his outlap. Yeah. Just started his qualifying lap. Car number 10 is coming around again. He's making on the third. 34. He's making on the third. Car number 33 jumps to number 3. And Simba made it again. He just passed Folky <laughs> by 2 tenths of a second. Car number 16. Yeah. Jones. Is not improving. M no. Doesn't improve. Adams improved Pichick. himself. 36 plus speed check. Jumps to number Adam. 11. Folky made it back on first. With a 146.7. Oh. Holy mother 146722. That's a hell of a lap. 411, once again. Now it's his time. The team made it in the time in the track. Matthias Hardy in the BMW. And he made it on P6. Car 35 jumps up to P8. Yes, Malinsky. 33 is coming around again. Lee. See what he's up to. There's a little improvement, but no change of position. Number 17. It's going to the second place. So I believe it was second place. Just jump One, six. 16. Jones is coming around again. Out of the parabolica. Evening, Eric. I hear that you guys want a song. Yeah. I've been on. asking for one. I've been asking for one the entire time. time. They keep asking at me. First, at first, there's number 36, Pospichi. Coming around the parabolica. Can you make it up to? No, he's just proving itself. Come on, Eric, hit us with it. Which song are we going for? Alright. I'm not a I'm not a big singer. Right, not, okay. not that good. Which one are you going uh, for? Let's see if I can join in. Probably Big Iron. Big Iron? Well you're gonna have to familiarize me. I'm sure when you get going I'll be able to I'll be able to uh, it. By Marty Robbins, covered by Johnny Cash. Oh, right, okay, right, okay, Johnny Cash, I'm yeah. kind of in that one. Alright. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The town of Agua Fria rode a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. 
No one dared to ask his business. No one dared to make a snip. For the strangers there among them had a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. <laughs> it was early in the morning when he rode into the town. He came riding from the south side, slowly looking all around. He's now all loose and running, came the whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with Big Iron on his hip, Big Iron on his hip. In this town there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him, and many men were dead. He was vicious and a killer, though the leaf of 24, and the notches on his pistol number one and 19 more. One and 19 more. Let's go, now my friend. the stranger started wow. talking, made it plain to folks around. Was an Arizona Ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. When he came here to take an outlaw, back alive or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter, he was after Texas Red. After Texas Red, wasn't long before the story was related to Texas Red. The outlaw didn't worry, men that tried before were dead. Twenty men had tried to take him, twenty had, more men had made a slip. Twenty one made the ranger bit the big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip. The morning passed so quickly, it was time for them to meet. It was twenty past eleven when they walked out in the street. Folks were watching from the windows, everybody held their breath. They knew this handsome ranger was about to meet his death, about to meet his death. There were forty feet between them when they stopped to make their play, and the swiftness of the ranger still talked about today. Texas Red is not cleared leather for a bully fair rip, and the ranger's aim was deadly with the big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip. It was over in a moment, and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Oh no, he might have went on living, but he made one fatal slip when he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip, big iron, big iron. When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip. Let's go, Eric, in the house. It is, Eric. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think we got that. Uh, awesome. Uh, there goes the ad revenue from being copyrighted from Johnny Cash and the, uh, the boys. <laughs> well done. I'm absolutely buzzing. See? You should have started singing though. Seriously. We've got the... Uh, oh, God, no chance. Not against that. That was fucking awesome. Big guy in on his hips. There we go. See, I know like Johnny Cash, Dead Man Walking and a couple of other ones. It's actually one of my favourite... Uh, my mother's favourite uh, musicians is uh, Johnny Cash. And I love him as a... A personality as well, but as of words and songs and way to go, I have no idea. You know, I can I can sing a few verses, but Doug's got a lot to live up to now, right? I know, no chance. No chance. Let's go. That was that good. Hey, that was awesome, man. That was absolutely bloody brilliant. I've been asking Doug to do it for God millennia, man. It, if there was any way I could start you be one of this grid just for that. I would, my friend, <laughs> trust me. I, I think, Doug, that's all forgiven now for the uh, the lap one qualifying, mate. You've, you've more than made up for it. I'll take any time Hilt is back or anything of that nature. What a guy, man. Thank you so much. And if I do get copyrighted, I'll just have to uh, send him your way, I guess, Eric. Just for being back oh, okay. on there. But well done, my friend. I'm loving that stuff. And then it's obviously we're coming on to Imola next round, and we've got to get Doug to sing something. No. His, his wife is already no, kicking no. off that he's been a bit loud. Which is which is great by the way, I love that. But it, it's got uh, uh, Alright, would you sing something if we all participated in it Doug? Yeah. Obviously Eric's got balls of steel, right? He's just out there yeah, with we, the bagpipes. We, no, we're not competing with that. We'll just let let Eric do the singing. What? Oh, come on, oh, yes. So nobody can hear you. Just can't sing. Right now. <laughs> no. Nobody hears you. 
I don't know, I don't know any German songs apart from Rammstein and stuff like that. That's it. Well, there's, there's not much. You, you might know Modern Talking, that's German too. Junior, that's a five second penalty for yourself. Yeah, <laughs> is it really? I, was, I, know I, was of, I know a couple of German bands. I can't sing them because I don't speak German, but... Let's go, what are your German bands there? Rammstein, obviously, right? You must know Rammstein. Yeah. Right. Because that's my go-to. My wife is it's watching them. one of them. the biggest. Is it one of the biggest too? Right, because yeah, yeah, yeah. my my wife's off to Dublin. I'm sure I've told everyone by now. She's off to Dublin in uh, a couple of months' time to go watch them live, and they're apparently awesome live. I have seen the videos of them live and stuff like that, and it sounds like a very fun time. Uh, yeah, yeah, till Lindemann and all them guys. So I'm gonna butcher this name, so I'll just put it in general. Okay. And then someone else can read it. <laughs> Perfect, yeah, I'm your guy. I don't even know where to start how to say that. My American mind could not comprehend. Modern talking is a five Modern second penalty. Oh, right. I apologize. <laughs> Matthias already knows. One I can pronounce is the uh, High Lung. High Lung. They're they they sing in like old Norse and like old Germanic and stuff. Oh, like Dutch Germanic. Yeah. yeah, like most of their uh, band is from uh, uh, Germany. So. I reckon you should give it a bit of sea shanty. Sea shanty. Yeah. So I like that. <laughs> Yeah, I think you would sing that quite well. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm talking is the five six ten. Okay. Apparently so. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already twenty seconds down at this point. I think. Nah, you know, you're about thirty seconds down just so you start the part. Doug, you have a second song here. Push you forty seconds up ahead. Doug's not singing in the song. Another ten seconds. In the general chat on Discord, there's that uh, that band name. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I can look at it. A couple of seconds. Yeah, it's in the, it's in the main chat. Eddie, my house shit. When they had a live performance one kilometer from me, oh, she's gonna love that stuff. I can't wait, wait for her to see it, man. Yeah. That's German too. Stuart's not German. Stuart is German. No, he's not. Right. Oh, I'll be he is. Yourself. He is. Yeah. Who is Dave? And why is he always on a plane? That's what I want to know. Stuart is German. <laughs> Junior, that you can't class that as your singer. I, I'm not classing anything as my singing. I generally want to know. <laughs> I don't believe for a second that Stuart is German. He's more How English than... How is the fish? Come on. He's well, not German. And a German will come on this sentence. Scooter is not German. Scooter is German. He's happy. Yeah. Hamburg. Hans. Hey, the, Hans Peter Batox. Right oh, shit. Yeah, he's from, he's from Hamburg. That Justin is trolling me. I'm going to say yellow flag. Be careful there. There's some more in the chat as well, Jim. I know, I know. Uh, Cannon Fiber? Cannon Fiber? Yellow flag is another good heavy metal band as well, really. I'll throw it into that. Go on, Eric. We want, we want to hear this uh, she sound here. I reckon you'd sing it. If you want me to do a she sound? Yeah, go on. Well, well, please. I don't understand how we would know a she sound here. Uh, I, I know a couple. You actually know a couple of shoes on this? Yeah, I'm not off the top of my head, I have to pull the lyrics up. But. Uh, yeah, it was all over TikTok, one. Was it? Yeah. You were the last person I think was on TikTok, man. <laughs> well, Facebook. Yeah, uh, was it what, what Weatherman was on? Or, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
44 on his first lap. Number 44 is an invalid lap. In a valid lap on his last lap. I think I'm the last one who set the lap. That lap is 99999. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to do a bit of laughing there. I tried to. I tried <laughs> not to be quiet. quiet. The Scorpions. Well, you're going to try and keep it quiet. And the Scorpions, German, Big City Knights and shit like that. That is a band, right? Scorpions, Big City. They're not German either. Big City Knights. No, they're not German. What are you talking about? Who? 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 The Scorpions. And the Scorpions are German. I think. They, they are German. Right, alright, there must be some English dub stuff that I've heard, right? Big City Nights was a banger of a song that was. Look, that. They're not German, they're even American or, or British, one of the two. Junior's talking about the streets. <laughs> I'm 19! <19. laughs> Perhaps. The, right, okay, there is a German band, right, okay. That's a fun one. So Scooter is a German. I, stop uh, saying that, Justin. I don't believe you in the slightest, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, you can Google it. I'm Googling it right now. I'm Googling it right now. I'm Googling it right now because that isn't. Rasputin is a German band too. Yeah, yeah, Rasputin yeah, yeah. is also. Is... This race is going to be so ugly because everybody's just going to be on about German ah, singers. Eric, is Scooter German? Follow, follow my spell, oh, yeah? No, it was one of the first oh, yeah? things that came up. Scooter is uh, a... what, what are we doing? No way! The, the, the band name. I can pronounce it to you. Oh my oh, god. Okay. Scooter. Foyer. Scooter is Foyer. German. And Schwanz. Foyer Schwanz. Foyer Schwanz. Okay. That's the, that's the name of it. That's how you spell it. See, I thought it was something like that. I just didn't want to try to pronounce it and then make a fool out of myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm on that, man. Right here for you. You read the chat on uh, the actual game, June. That's not German. Yeah, yes, Scorpions are. Uh, it's German. not. Also, Come on in. Scooter. Come on. Um, I don't know. What is a rave without Dave? Yeah, Melly. who the fuck is Dave? Eurodance. Uh, I think 90% of the Eurodance team is German. Oh, is that? Is he called Dave? I've got a race to do anyway, but yeah, apparently fucking Scooter is German by all accounts. <laughs> Yeah, Scooter is German, and yeah. 90% of the Eurodance scene is German too. Uh, Dr. Alban is German. Um, I don't know. Um... The whole world's been oh. turned up right side down here. I don't know what's left and right and no, what's actually oh, real and not. There, 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 there's, this, there's this one man, uh, what is love? Hathaway is German. Isn't Cascada German? Uh, every time we yeah, touch the Yeah, but Lucifer for Dr. Album is German. He made the music. <laughs> I don't I don't know anymore. Um... Well, I'm German too, if you know. Yeah, yeah, I know you're German. I get that <laughs> shit, right? If you told me Dave was on a plane, right, I'd understand. But... <laughs> I think Electric Cowboy is also German. Yeah, the Electric Cowboys are German. Yeah. They had a they had a, another name first, but they can't use it because it was too, I don't know, too, too offensive. Because of the Peter. The, the... I do like uh, the Scorpions. Into turn one through the tripping straight now, and let's see if everyone can just make it round turn one. Oh, it's already ugly. Oh, and there's a tap from there. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, I'm not restarting. But I am gonna instantly yeah, look. Uh, Turn one to be revered. I just made it through. Shit. Just side by side now with Volky and Simba. I think Volky did end up cutting to lap one. <sighs> yeah, I can I can dig that the scoot that like uh, the scorpions. Oh and oh, just in front there was another incident there. B Jones has to take the slip road. Scorpio also sang the, the Reunite of Germany. Okay, right, yeah. The only one I really know is the Big City Nights, because it was on one of the hit lists that I used to listen to. And Big City Nights was an absolute banger back in the day, that was. And uh, they got another one, man. I just don't remember the name of the song. Like the wind or something. Like but I get, I get trolled all the time by my missus because I like classic rock, which is actual rock. 
Okay, so who was that? Okay, I'm Charles. Oh, instant. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh, Mac, was that you? I think Mac went off first. I come in and touch him. Oh, he doesn't went off. I think he got hit. I don't know if he's going to restart or... Alive. No, I'm not restarting. No, whether he's just... He's going to... The one I touched is going to start or he's just... What he's doing. Yeah, like a hurricane. This is the song I searched for, for the Scorpions. This is the song they're saying on the Rio night of Germany. This scorpion is actually German. I could have sworn they like British. Yeah, me too. Me too. But then I thought yeah, Scooter was British as too, and they're not. They're from. Uh, I know if I think. Some weird stuff going on tonight. I'll tell you that much for free. I will tell you some stories. And all of them are true. Like Scooter's German. Scorpion's German. I don't understand though, man. The sound. British, right? When I'm listening to him, 111, okay, I'll have a look. Yeah. But they sound yeah. British when they're on the albums, when obviously they're related to like a British kind of audience that way. Why do they say, they don't have an ounce of German in them, so I don't understand. Where is K. Adam in relation? We'd have changed for Uh, Rocky Like a Hurricane is one of their songs. Yeah, the, uh, but I thought uh, Rocky Like a Hurricane was one of the real nice songs they sang, but it was actually a bit of change, like they said. Oh. Uh, that was gonna be a slight issue. I did not adjust my pressers, and I still have a uh, hundred liters of gas. Wait, what? How many? A hundred? Mate, that's a little bit too much, huh? What do you think? No, it's uh, gonna be close. <laughs> okay, how many laps do you wanna drive? <laughs> Jonathan knew what this the scar was. Uh, Sky, Sky Blair, check. It's scary. I'm gonna have to abandon this. I need a piss by the top. <laughs> well, you can cheers with me while we do this. I've finished. I've finished ages ago. Keep up. I got a hit with 71, but that's okay. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Skylar, I'm wondering if that's that... Yeah, to let him on I'm wondering if that's the Skylar of John's friend, Skylar. That's weird. Right, okay, let's check it out. That's the reason why we're talking about Sherman and saying this and pants. Oh my god, what happened in front? <sighs> Some of you might know the, the latest uh, radio songs. Video killed the radio. You might so. remember Sad. The DJ. Sad the DJ. Or, well, Robin Schulz. One yeah, no, it's Robin Schultz. The thing is, Robin Schultz, right? He actually came up with a strong. Ge oh, what's his bloody face? The idiot with the hair. Well, Doug, yeah, you're gonna get tagged off with that one. But um, yeah, um, what's his face? You know that song that's very popular. He robbed it off Schultz. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I know what you. You should know uh, what I mean. Love. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, he he took that from Robin Schultz. Robin Schultz come up with that yeah. that that. Uh, that song first, and all he did was remix it a little bit and put a tiny different like kick to it. I was showing our last that because she's a big fan of what's his face with the stupid hair, and um, but yeah. I, was, I was saying that's not his song. He took that song off uh, a German sad. DJ. <clears throat> yes, sad and uh, Robin Schulz and Felicia. Rocky like a hurricane from the Scorpions or Winter Change. Nah, the reunion song was Winter Change. For real, that's not a cool song. Woof. We've got some uh, we've got some opinions. Uh win with the whistle at the start. Baby forgot the yeah, best and hottest German singer of all, Till Lindemann. I never forgot Till Lindemann and that's just you that's your opinion. He's like eighty years old. Grow up. 
might be a man. I don't think till that old, yeah. He's getting on 60 years old, right? It's just my our last seems to think that's why she's learning German. Oh, all these in here. He should go on to the 70s. Yeah, yeah, he should be there or thereabouts. But yeah, our lass is uh, learning to speak German in the hopes of meeting Till Lindemann. You know, because that'll that's work. That's the reason why we started this controversy about the German dance. Because of Till Lindemann. Yeah, exactly. You've started a whole bloody civil war here, Mr. L I just said that Scooter is German and you won't believe me. I didn't believe you because it didn't sound plausible. He sounds more English than what I do. I, I, listen, I've had many a good nights in my heyday listening to Scooter while maybe different chemical imbalances in my body, you know? I, I, I know what bloody... I know what Scooter sounds like, bro. Ooh, Simba just getting it wrong, okay. How much is the fish? Yeah, who's Dave? Is he, is, is he called Dave? No, Scooter is called uh, Hans-Peter. Right, Hans-Peter. Okay, so uh, I'd love to know who Dave Peter is. Baxter. And apparently Till Lindemann, he's just 61 years old. Just... I don't know how I knew Scooter is oh. German, but somehow I've always known. I didn't know. Yeah, now you know. But I do now. It's terrifying me because I honestly, it's weird what they do to people's vocals and stuff like that uh, outside of no, the. No thanks. No thanks for that. You can always come back to me for that. Yeah, well, apparently my wife, who was in chat right now, is telling me that Scoot, she already knew, she always knew that Scooter was German, so she... It's like, how, do you, how much do you really know these people, you know? She's always known this and never said a thing. She's married to me, too. Why don't you tell me these things? Wow, um, that's, that's one of your problems. It's definitely one of my problems, I appreciate <laughs> it, though. Thank you. A, a big welcome to the 27 people currently watching on YouTube. Apparently Scoot is German, for those that didn't know. Nobody knows who Dave is, or why he was on a plane, or anything, but it is what it is. Yes, Simba, definitely, we did watch the new phone. This is the last race at Monza, we'll head over to Imola. We'll have a rob lobby reset, and we'll go over that way. Uh, we might get another song out of Eric at some point on the crossover to Imola. Into the parable. Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah, I'm not digging um, a sea shanty though. If you you're willing to actually, you know, get on the I mic. I have one pulled up. Oh, all right, okay. Eric, can you sing "Staying Alive" from Bee Gees? There we go. There's a song we can all we can all jump into. But can you hit the? I think what's more important, can you hit them notes while singing that I song? I cannot. Right. Yeah. Me neither. I'm about, oh, I'm, like... I'm about 20 years too late for hitting those notes. Do you know? Do you know? Alpha will. Alpha? Why does that ring a bell? They they were big in the eighties. Holy shit! Did you know that, didn't you? It's German too. Yeah, when you say I should know that, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> As born in 1987, but all my, my bands that I love and that, like, I was born in the wrong era for music, especially rock music. Don't get me wrong, I listen to all sorts, I'm a connoisseur when it comes to music, but rock music, yeah, definitely. I, I just thought you were 50. Oh, thank you very much, yeah, I'm pulling it off for 50, but no, not quite, quite there yet, no, a fair few years to get there, but all my rock bands are like, way in the 70s, way in the 80s, even some in the 60s or whatnot. I'm not a big fan of all the new metal kind of era and stuff, but I'm not approved, right? I like my um, hard house, I like my techno, I like my club, um, like classics and stuff like that. Barring that, I go into like bloody Otis Taylor and stuff like that with some jazz and 10 million slayers and, uh, you know, uh, Tracy Chapman. I, I like all sorts of music, bulky defending into the parabolica. See, what I'm a massive thing? metal fan. Yeah, what new metal fan? So you're like my wife in a sense that she likes like uh, Korn. Well, I like the genre Slipknot. new metal, but like I, I grew up listening to like uh, like old classic rock and uh, like Metallica, Black mm -hmm. Sabbath, all those guys. Black so. Sabbath, like Pink yeah, Floyd, yeah. Led Zeppelin, all of it. Yeah, that's exactly where I'm yeah. from. Like that. I will ask like all that. Screamy down the mic bullshit, you know, that you can't understand the word that they're saying. And most I mean, of the time, I, I still love deathcore. Yeah, but it, I think it spoils a lot of the actual music side to it itself because some of the music ability of that side is bloody brilliant. It's great, and then you've got this this dude that's screaming his heart out, 
literally giving himself throat aids. Like, yeah, it's a... Bigger Japan is from Guano... Guano Apes, is it? Okay. Ooh, side by side. They need to give each other room to race at the 101 and the uh, 180. Close racing. Eight minutes to go for this one. It looks like going to Imola, we're going to get a sea shanty. The staying alive by the Blue Jews was totally thrown out the window there, as Eric doesn't... I don't think he's able to hit <laughs> that note. I, I, I there's, there's, there's a reason I uh, can somewhat sing country. I have that deep, raspy voice. I can't hit anything higher than that. I think all Americans have the... Oh. You can make a country version out of it. Racing. No. No. What? I, I had to go to the toilet. <laughs> uh, do you see the lights up behind me? Uh, 17. He is planning me to shit out of me. Lee and Valky, let me just check very quickly who was leading that one. Valky's no, now we are to changing to Imola for this race. Oh, shit, he's hitting me. Oh, this was oh, close. Oh, yeah, that was close. He braked a bit late for that one. Yeah, I had to go over to the right side. I'll stay on board. Is there another Monza race after? Uh, late, possibly later, yeah. We're going to head over to uh, Imola because that was the track that won the vote earlier on today. We have had two qualifiers and two Monzas, so we're going to head over to Imola. Mr. Ian Anderson, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Yeah, just watch him. He is braking quite late. The car behind of Malays, is that what you're on about? Uh, yeah, I'm on car I'm on board with car seventeen. Putting some pressure on me, that's unbelievable. Yeah. It's scoot at, at Mr. Justin's rear now, all the way from Hamburg in his 720S. Now yeah, I'm from mine. Coops! JR, I knew you would crack that 1k. Well done, mate. Thank you so much, but again it's not me that cracked it, it's all of you guys that managed to get us up there. Chooks, you know who Scooter is, right? You know the DJ? Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Oh, yeah, you're just not going to let it down. No, I'm not, right? Coops, I, I want to know if he knows. <laughs> you know who Scooter the DJ is, right? Let me know if you, you know. Dave on the plane and all that stuff. Evening, Coops. Yeah, right. Hope you're well. Is he British or is he American? What is he, Coops? You tell me. Tell me what. Tell me. Oh, steady on the pot, <laughs> Shocking hair, you cheeky bastard. Sh oh, right. Oh, right. You mean Scooter. I'm with you. I thought you meant me for a second, you cheeky bastard. I don't get how he's that quick because he come out of that corner sideways. Oh, Justin. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, just, uh, just line up behind the number 17, bro. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, good. Yeah. You good. Well, you know, most people don't. I'm a 35, is a yeah, but I'm racing fair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, most people don't take that into account. I'm very interested to hear what Cube says right now. You got an answer by comps. Uh, ooh, I'm going to say American because he's such an interesting character. Right, no, he was neither. He was German. Right? Do you hear any hint of German? No, there's nothing wrong with being German. I'm just saying, it was such a take back. He's he's a fighting hard against. The... He's from yeah, Hamburg. He's Italian. He is. They are very. They are fighting very hard. Race of their life, man. There's Alexis out in front. Yeah, that's Peter Dem. Oh, it's a good job, and then there's an Audi, and then on board with T Malinas now, number 17. 
Okay, then why ask if he's a Yankee or a British? Yeah, they're, they're because be I thought he was British or American with his bloody no, voice. No. That's why. The Audi's all over it. Yeah, Peter's gonna have to come. Ooh, I think the Audi just Whoa. backed off there. He doesn't want any part of it. I wasn't sure what the Lexus in front was gonna do. We're gonna keep involved with the team hours now that there are three minutes left of this one to go. That's why I asked. Actually, Scooter is a free piece, at least back in the day. Oh, Cooch, you cheeky. Holy shit, what? Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that yeah, is a little bit They got all they've touched. Why is he stopping? Because he's just touched the, uh, the Audi. He can't stop on track, mate. No, he's trying to let the Lexus and the Audi the back through. Yeah, but not, not, not on the track in front of the Lexus. Oh, I understand that, yeah, but listen, you haven't got any room to talk right now. You, just because you beat us the other day in a football game, luckily, I might add. Oh, it was such a bad day for football, right? Coventry beat Leeds. Man U drew a Liverpool. I don't want to talk about it. I'm not okay, huh? What, what was the score? Oh, just just the British football. It wasn't great. Yeah, but what's the score? Well, I'm a Liverpool fan, so we're fighting for the Premiership win, and we probably threw it away with drawing it's two. Close up there, right? Yeah, oh, I know, but we shouldn't be losing against the bloody Farmers team like Manchester United at the minute, should we? We should be beating them. And we drew two two with them. It was bullshit, right? And then obviously Leeds, where I'm from. They drew to, uh, I can't remember what the score was. Now, we got beat by commentary, and Coots, who's in the chat now, he's a big commentary supporter, so he's come in chirping it, giving it a big one, because he won. The number 17 is off a team Lars. I wonder what happened there. That's the only reason he's in this chat, giving it this now, is because of the result. Just want to bully you. Uh, exactly, yeah, it's, there's a lot of bullying going on. Last okay, so he gets it wrong and let's keep on. Dark? Yeah, that's it. Alright, last lap, I think, for. No? No, 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 we're not. I don't know. It's gonna be close. Man like JR, listen, Ryan Racing, how the devil are you? Long time, absolutely nobody see. The last I heard from you was. Oh, it's gotta be in AMG's chat right he was in there briefly no it wasn't it was on twitter that was how long it, it's been i hope you're doing all right i thought i hope things at home are going all right because you wasn't a happy bunny last time we spoke uh, what's the car situation like what's the electronic situation like uh, hopefully everything's going all right for you my friend it's nice to see you anyway and we, we've missed you a little bit you drew tonight against school oh, really I'm gonna get it from all sides, right? It was it was a draw against Manchester United. Bellend. Got beaten by commentary. Coops, Bellend. And now I'm Scumberland. Do you mean Sunderland? Because if that's the case, I'm gonna have Swifty J on my ass as well, giving me crap. And we've got this is side by this is for the lead, right? This Audi is hitting me too. Yeah, I've just watched him touch, yeah. The leaderboard's all messed up at the moment. No, it's, it's alright now. Yeah, just the one. Work out the car. No, he's very curly on that. Hey, that's fantastic news, Ryan. And obviously not the wrongfully what is it stuff. But I'm glad you might be streaming a little bit more. I haven't seen any of them though, so I don't know when when you were up. Oh, Bulky's super, super wide into there. The cutback from A. Lee might be on here. The number 33 against the 70 Ferrari. Well, I'm glad you're streaming a little bit more, dude. That must be a good thing. And yes, you mean Sunderland. Fantastic. We're going to get it from Swifty J as well. I'm, I'm turning the football off in my mind. I don't spot anybody. Oh, there's still one more lap. I just pulled over. I'm not paying attention. Binged it off right now. Sorry. Yeah, that's the last one now. Well, good to see you, Ryan, at the very, very least, my friend. If you haven't already, do hit the like button. All them YouTube stuff, it feels god-awful to ask you to do that. But I hope you're doing alright, anyway. 
it looks like Volk is going to have his way if he doesn't make a mistake in to the Parabolica now. This is the last race at Monza before we head to Imola. So the boys get on Volky holding a good tight line there. There's no way around for the BMW driver. It's going to be D. Volky finally getting a clean one in. And across the line, he's going to come in a little wiggle there. And A. Lee follows very closely behind. Mr. Kevin Hatch. Sante, my friend. Sante, Kevin. Well done to you. And across the line, a flash of lights. I appreciate that very much. And Mateus in the background with a flash of lights in here across the line too. Ah, Mulligan with the fastest lap of the race. Okay, Adam, a flash of lights. Thank you, brother. Uh, Claire. Claire, Claire, Claire. Fight G Foss across the line. It's the ARF boys. They were very close, so I'm gonna have to check on them. Yes. It's the number 44 of Justin, the pink driver with the big arms behind him, but it does look like S Schnell ARF. Audi number eight is gonna get the job done. He's gonna hold on to the top ten position here. Closely followed by uh, Justin behind. Uh, Mr. Peter Deb, well done to you, my friend. P12, nevertheless, and uh, A Quartz. P oh Mac and Ollie super close to each other. That drive through came in too late for me, Ollie, to get rid of it. Sorry, my friend. Penny Odoz, well done. Hey, Santana, and where is Marski and all of this? They're still coming up the back straight. We've got a fight on here. But is that a fight for position? I don't know what it is, because they are two McLarens, right? So who is fighting with Malinowski here? Maybe that's Chaplin behind, I think. Um, let me look at the report is it? Oh my god, Ryan. It looks like you're having to go through some right and stuff, my friend. I told you those people were wrong -uns. I told you way before that that they were wrong -uns. Everyone thought I was just being a div or a, a bit of a tool. S-E-R, the 901 across the line now. I'm slow today, but I think it's time to sleep. Thanks, Jay, for the lobby and all us, uh, you guys. Mr. Adam, thank you, buddy. Thank you, Adam. Alright, now it's not exactly a she Santi. No, 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 it's that, yeah, I've got to change tracks and you've got to come and jump. You've got to, what is it? You've got to come into the uh, the lobby at Imola. You start that at Imola, so. Uh, is you... it now, is it now the, the cover version of Staying Alive? The country version <laughs> of you? Is it this now? That's the country okay, not yet, version not yet. of Staying Alive. I don't know yeah. if I can do that. You can do that. Right, let me change these tracks over. Not pushed in safety. I was gonna yeah. say I could do the Islander by Nightwish. It things like a sea santee. Ah, would you, Ryan? Okay. Uh, I had severe damage at the start and was stuck behind the BMW A8 the whole race until five minutes. I almost got the Ferrari Oliver. Legend, my dude. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for even coming in on the chat as well. I'm like this now. Appreciate it. I did try and keep on top of that as much as I could. We're going to change track over to Imola. Should be good. Sounds like an excuse to me. Oh, Holly Madden. I'm going to give the Ferrari by your chance. I'm going to bring that. Uh, awesome. I think so. <laughs> Stuck behind a BMW 88. All right, we're going to re. re yeah, rest I was the Ferrari. <laughs> restart the lobby. Yeah, but you want 88 Ferrari, right? You're 36 summer river. Oh, yeah, I'm 369. Don't drive. Right. My level. My slightly changed level. Aki, I've yeah. been in contact with uh, Robbie Kirtley. He's the livery designer for our team, essentially, on the iRacing side. He is willing to come and do uh, ACC liveries and stuff like that. He does charge but you're willing to you can come into the the, uh, the discord and whatnot and see all of his work you know he's the bloody the guy is Service up. he's unbelievable but if you know if you want a livery doing or whatnot you can come in and just talk to robbie i guess and see what you want doing and he'll give you a rough estimate man but there's nobody i know that are going to do it for for free at the minute unfortunately and ryan look at that livery that look that should look kind of familiar to you right that livery there that livery there was actually produced by uh, Ryan Racing, who's actually in the chat right now. That was for the Spa 12 hours that Ryan runs solo because he jumped in the bloody lobby first, which 
if anyone knows that I, what you do with like endurance racing, you sign up, you put your number one driver in, and your number one driver has to join the lobby first. Unfortunately, the servers got reset while Ryan was already in there, so it classed him as the number one driver. Nobody else could join, so Ryan did the full 12 hours on his own, but that is the livery he um, he actually put in there. Um, Eddie, got a name for you that you maybe should put on that. Keep an eye on the list. Okay, my friend Matt says, I certainly will. Pretty sure his name's Justin, but I'll keep an eye on it. <coughs> Junior, with a setup for Monza, do you reckon it would work one day? I think it would work all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, well, I am tonight. I just jumped in this one. I usually use the uh, the eyes. The one that's another one. I think you created as well. But I usually use one or the other, and it was in the um, the stream uh, photo YouTube thing image again. So it was on there. I'm good with pain. Right. Okay, Aki. Uh, what is it on the Discord? I'll tag Robbie. And you get to see what Robbie uh, has produced, which I think everybody on that the rally side to it is running one of Robbie's liveries because he's absolutely fantastic. But I think it's going to be between like seven to eight euros. I think is more likely that is. It just depends, like, because there's like different versions of it. But we'll get in contact. We'll set it up on the YouTube. I'll put. We'll get him to put all of his stuff there. I'm sure he's got a, a Discord all of his own. In fact, so. People will get to see everything that's uh, essentially up there. And uh, you can just sign for the Bee Gees. Yeah, where's this sea yeah, shanty while well, we've got Justin? There. First, first lap live on board with Jay. Alright, so I can do a North Sea shanty. Okay. Or I can do the Islander my night with. Well, which one do you think is going to. Gonna hit better at the minute. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking both. At the you pick one. Yeah, it's 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 dealer's choice at the minute. Yeah, I, right, I I know the the Norse one a lot better. It's gonna be in English. I I cannot speak the old Norse lyrics. Mm -hmm. You can always sing it in German if it appreciates you. My mother told me someday I will buy. Galley with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up on the prowl, noble bork I steer, study course to the haven. Oh, many foemen, oh, many foemen, my mother told me someday I will buy. Galley with good oars to sail to distant shores. Stand up on the prowl, noble bork I steer, steady course to the haven. Who many foemen, who many foemen. Where? Where do you come up with these kind of lyrics? How do you know that, Sue Shanty? How do you, how do you come up with that sea shanty? How where do you come up with that sea shanty? Where was where was the lyrics to that? That's something you know. Eric, you've got too much time yeah, on your hands. How do you know where that sea shanty come from? There's no fucking way, man. There's no way. It was beautiful, by the way, as well. I will appreciate that. <clears throat> well, if Justin's been a bit of a turd burglar while he loses it into the Aqua Minerale. Duck. I hope he's actually gone for a beer because he's not kept up all night. <clears throat> no, I've run out. That, that was beautiful, Eric, by the way. I liked it. I was more of a fan of the first fun. song. Fun fact about me, Junior. Yeah. I am almost as pure Norwegian as you can get with today's uh, like uh, culture diversity. Norwegian? I'm something like 95% Norwegian. How does that even happen? Just lucky genetics? I don't know. Lucky genetics? No, you must have had a mother or father that have come from Nor Norway, you know? My uh, my great-grandma on my mom's side is from Norway. Right, that makes sense, right? Because, I mean, it, that's hard done by if you have, like, generations and generations of of um, family that, you know, born specifically in the US, like, so it kind of makes some sense, but it's weird how that stayed so high, for, even through uh, mum and pops, essentially. 
That's 95% new age, that's crazy. I'm sure... You also gotta give yeah. or take some, like, inaccuracy in the test, but yeah, that's, like, I took them, like, three, and they all came back pretty much around the same. Listen, that's super bloody high, mate. You've got the Viking blood throwing uh, f through your veins. I'm obviously from York in the UK, and what that was is that's the Viking capital of the UK. Back in the day, they made that the capital, essentially. And, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Dane's blood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got some, uh, some Norse blood running through my veins at some point during that. I can definitely drink like a Viking, so that probably makes up for a lot. But yeah, it's a. Uh, I love all the Viking, the, the culture of the Norse people as well. Trying to use a ship. Uh, this when are you making a return to iRacing? Do you know, I had the urge, because Chris and all the boys doing the Rally X version of it at the minute, I had the urge to try and get on and try my hand at doing the, the Rally stuff of it. Honestly, the 911 Cup. Finished me off on Iris, and it was big shout out to Big J. It was ho horrible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and support the channel, Mr. Jonathan Clifford. Mr. 24 Hours Times Two. Cheers to you, my friend. I thought he. I was watching your streams. I thought he was doing two. Yep, he did the GT3 with us, and then he was swapping so, over yeah. and doing the M2 with the uh, the other American boys as well, man. So, psh, props. How did he get guy. on with the other one? Do you know? Did they okay, win or the did two? I can't that remember. I cannot remember. Obviously, we got taken out by a puncher that blew up at 170 mile per hour, which yeah, that the, was going off. Which, is the, really top there, that which was is the equivalent of going outside and getting hit by lightning, pretty much. You know, so that was that was unlucky. And then it not getting repaired. What was that? About? Oh my god! Yeah, the pit oh, stop. Yeah, it I just it didn't. Free. It swapped yeah. the four tires over. It swapped three tires over, but not four. So I, I don't know. And then with the tire the way it was, we got a. Uh, I stop and go on top. Well, I wanted to message you, but I thought, no, nah, I'm just going to leave you. I knew it was going to get to you. I just wanted, I thought I'd leave you. I, I, I really was, wanted to message yeah, you. Yeah, it's just gotten you've got 20, you've done 24 yeah. hours of a race. You've got 20 minutes to go. Yeah. You're in P1. P2 is 10 seconds behind you. Just, just that yeah. alone. Take away anything else, right? You've done 24 hours and P1 and 2 are separated by 10 seconds. It's absolutely amazing. It had absolutely everything that race did. And we kind of got taken out of it. At least, I, in my opinion, I think we got taken out of P2 of that lobby because of that puncher. Do you know? It's, it's a possibility. Yeah. Anything can happen in the fight for P1 and the win for that race. But we were definitely on for P2. No, no three ways about it. The man did the 12 hour Sebring and we finished ninth in the sister team. Yeah, I watched. Um, I watched a little bit of Den's first try, second try, third try. I, I think Mike kept uh, sending it a little bit. Uh, dry tires on a wet track. I don't think it was completely his fault, but yeah, I think the weather catching a few of the boys out. But yeah, I watched uh, Den's side to it. I don't think they completed the race. I think they uh, obviously crashed out and then re signed for the next one. Crashed out of that and re-signed for the next one, and then obviously once they were out of that, I think they were out completely. But I was checking in and uh, having a look, but I have no idea you boys uh, managed to do that. Oh yes, right, well we got the Norge life at the minute on ACC, and if it's any more than 60 cars, my PC is like absolutely shitting out with the CPU. It's not you good. Yeah, I had to t everything was on the lowest, lowest setting. It looked like a fucking Super Nintendo game. But yeah, I'm, I'm, we got through. <sighs> but it was good to see it. Near, um, I don't have the Discord link, my friend, on me, but I will put it in there at some point. I need to go to the restroom and maybe grab another beer. Uh, I might be able to put it up. Mac have it. Uh, Kevin actually in the way with 141. 1.4. Someone's paid off. Oh, there we go. He's into P3 now. S Bonifar, the number 70 BMW M4, into P2. Justin's paid some of the officials off. He's currently in P3. No idea how. Oh, yeah, cheers, bud. Ollie in P4. Mr. Okay. P5. Some dude in P6. Nickelwitch, the 69 Ferrari. Goo Binder, who's been sea shanting the shit out of this stream. Awesome. Ah, Mac, of course. Mr. Mateus Sarundi. Lee. I. Anderson. C. Baker. S. Blair. Volky back in the lobby as well, as well as MG. Welcome in, Javi, my friend. Uh, Manowski. Butterago. Butiraga, Ravanetti, and uh, Felipe. Next up to complete the lit will be Mateus. 
Um, thank you, Mac. Legend. Yeah, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. You're welcome to come join the Discord. Just obviously realise that it is essentially a team Discord. And there's not one person in there that's really a dickhead, you know? Just just treat it like you would your own house and just be respectful. You'll have a fun time. Um, yeah, Dan's mic, Leo kept dying. Mean, did you do that with Harvey? And Troy did one attempt, got ninth. I left the others in six. They had a couple of issues, but Harvey did 12 hours on his own before joining my Troy. Harvey's built different, right? The last time I saw Harvey race, it wasn't good. Like, it really no, wasn't good. Turn it on their own. I apologise in advance for this one. Go on. This bloody track, I don't, I don't know it. No, I, oh, right, right Imola. Yeah. Right, I'm with you. I won't worry about it, buddy. It's a lot of people. That's the that's the point of like starting at Monza like that, because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, 50% of the grid that we, you know, we, we line up at Monza, haven't raced a different track and the fact that yeah. we come over to Monza and we do the streams and everyone enjoys it it make it, it, it not forces but it makes them want to come out and try the second track of the night you know so it's, I, I think that's fantastic that people will come over from the Monza track that you know they're familiar with and at that's least try a new track about LFM. different track each week I can say about me that this is the first time that I drive an Imola on ACC Oh, perfect. You're ready. You're ready. How's the rocket now? Give him a good couple of hours of testing. He's faster than me. That's good news. I don't think his pace was ever in doubt. I think it was his racecraft that was in doubt. I saw a couple of, like, Zolder clips and stuff. That is Engar... Nogaretto off. He needs to bring it back in the pit. Oh, I bring him back in the pit. It's really as simple as that. Yeah, I know the track. I'm just not very good at Imola. It is a hard track. Cheers, mate. Okay, I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of Doug, Mac, where's Mateus off there, and Justin. They've been killing it so far, so see how we get on. We're on board with, uh, oh, uh, none other than the sea shanty himself, he been the, the number 100. Uh, I was ripping the track thinking, oh yeah, I'm the fastest in the car that I've joined. I've got the car, beat my lap for him, and if he's, if he's up to speed with you, then he's definitely quick, right? Bulky, ah, oh, that's a shame. Love you. Thank you, Bulky. I missed a K there, right, but I apologize. Uh, I'm ahead off Eddie. Thanks for the race, it was alright, and I made one overtake which I thought was impossible with the amount of damage I had. Oliver, I really appreciate you coming in. Uh, not blowing smoke up your ass, I, I, I really appreciate you coming in, making any effort to come and race in this lottery. I hope we'll keep it clean for you boys and. And just, what is it, you know, make sure that you, you at least have a better. Better race than than most. Is Ollie getting off? Ollie, you going? Sounds like it. Yeah, it sounds like it. Sorry, Ollie, if I missed that, buddy. But thank you, Oliver, for coming in. Thank you, everyone, for uh, hitting the like button, and thank you, everyone, for subscribing. I'm again going to leave you on board with Mr. E. Bender now, while uh, Mac, Roger, Justin critique his lap. If you see any faults with his lap, please point it out while we're on stream. I have got headphones on, so I can point it out. But here you go. You've got you're on board. Exactly. You're on board with number hundred. Oh. Okay. That, Mac, you have to do this because I'm on a quick lap right now. Uh, I got you, Trevor.
so no Sector pressure. Three Eric. is one point seven. I'm out of fuel currently. I'm trying to take a restroom break and Eric goes into the fucking pit lane. No, no, he's going, he's going, it's fine. Right, back to it. Wait, you are faster than No, that's not possible. I'll, I'll beat your ass out. If we have to go, Junior, it's going back out. Criticizing Eric on his laps. Evening, Bobby. Gotta stay off that. This track is driving me crazy. This one car. Yeah, the one you want to cut and you can't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This is all right. This is and I wanted to do it flat, but I can't because I'm losing. Uh, I'm going to understeer it. With a dying lapse, Eric looks like his she shunt is working off. He's in a top 10 position. Mr. R. Marcus is, is uh, P1. Kev with a P2. Javi close behind, actually. Not too bad. It's very close between 2, 3, and 4 at the minute. 
Javi holds the P2 spot in the GT3 class. Bonifa holds P3 in the GT3 slot. Mr. A leads in the pit lane. Mateus and Lee Grinch, the EMP10 720S. Uh, I, Addison, Mr. Eric Binder, and Nickelwich round off your top 10 positions. Then we have. He claims he's German, but I'm pretty sure he's British. We have Justin what? in P11 at the minute. <laughs> Carolia and Suave, Barker, Marsky, PSP, Blair, Mac, Agarata, and Doug Tilly round off your top 20 positions. Uh, Mr. Banchetti and uh, Raven. K Raven? That's not who I think it is. It's just said I'm British. Listen, <laughs> if, if Scooter's not British, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, but you said that I am British. Yeah, it's that accent, man. Wait till I put this on an editor. You're going to sound more British than me, definitely. <laughs> For real. Scheiser. <laughs> okay. Scheiser. Scheisen. Is it not Scheiser? Scheiser. Scheiser. Okay, then we learn something new every day. If you're going oh, to I'm not that poop, far you go, If you're going to poop... Yeah, Scheisenkopf. Scheisenkopf. Yes, Scheisen. Scheisenkopf. Right? Du gehst einfach nur Scheißen. Good to Say again? I am going to poop. No, no, no. Poop head. Scheisenkopf. Right? Einen, meinen, ein. Yeah, I'm schon. Scheißkopf. Man kann es so übersetzen. Uh, you can translate it to it. I have to stay in English, sorry. <laughs> Hang on, I need another PF. One second, hopefully now the finishes all that. One second. Well, I don't think he's got his headphones in, but so he's in his, it's his, in his stream with his Bob Lars. <laughs> <laughs> you want to... to uh... I can't speak. I can't speak English. Justin. <laughs> Justin Ikleba. Who lives? No, oh, he's back. Ikleben. Yeah. Hang on. Don't tell him about that Bob Lat book. No, I ain't gonna tell him about that Bob Lat. <laughs> All right. No. You, you're ready for another insult? No, it's not. Hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, apparently it is. Ich liebe dich. What? Oh, I love you. Auch, mein Freund. <laughs> That's what the uh, the missus says. So. Um, you're ready for another insult? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you go for All it. Right. Yeah. You, you, know, you know that word uh, dickhead? Go on. Yeah. Schwanzkopf. Schwanzkopf. Hey, Junior, Schwanz, 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 Schwanz
Yeah, that's that's the answer to. The, uh, I said it to you, and you say no, and then you say yes, I do. That's it all. And I'll, uh, Disagree. Uh, well, yeah, I, I hope that I hope that clears it up for you, Mrs. Lana Hughes, Mrs. J. Asim Racing. All right, into turn yeah, one we go. Agreement. It's just an agreement. Okay. Oh, just incense it absolutely savagely through there. Oh, we have a car off. Do we have a car? No, we don't. Mateus and Bonfa are fighting very, very hard in front. I'll tell you what, everyone's got. It's like. Oh, Mateus! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, Why am I being too wide right now? Holy crap. It's gone bad from Matt's perspective. As we enter... Shh, the Terza. Nope. We are actually entering the Aqua Minimale. We're just a bit further back. The number 25 is off there. Yes. That's not a great position. Hopefully we can get going again. One board very bad. And now as he conquers the Aqua Minimale. Add that to the... Uh... Where am I? Oh, Eric! The love, of, the love of Goodbye, sea shanties, man. man. Jack Harrell's off, the number 94 is off. I'm pulling the 94 off because he's not in that position to clear the 94. Um, so, Doch is like the positive agreement. It's positive agreement. Yeah. So, I'm like agreeing with it's, you. It's, it's, it's like uh, you say, uh, I did do the, uh, the dish, and then partner of the conversation said no and you say yes so like for us dog last dog basically I it. yes i did it this is the dog last dog I, I can say it like in german ich hab den abwasch gemacht nein hast du nicht doch hab ich exactly none of us stand up in chance <laughs> <laughs> Chevron a good fight here. It looks like Bonafita is very close to the back of these boys oh. now. Some sound effects. I think here. I didn't want Doug die. Yeah, I don't He's still alive, Eric. Uh, Eric's still alive. Some fighting going on ahead. Oh no, that was a hit from the number one, I think. Oh. Looks like Kev's having a good one. Uh, Sante to Mr. Kevin Hand. Oh, Jesus, that's loud. Sick, man. Hey, Adam. Holy shit, Adam. Big congratulations for the 1k subs. 100 cent deserved. I don't know about that. Uh, keep up the good work and let's go for 10k. Really happy and proud of you, mate. Wasn't my best race today. I'll give a better show next time. Okay, Adam. I'm going to oh, cheers okay, to you, Adam. I do. Thank you for the very kind words, my friend. Again, I don't think the 1k has much to do with myself. I think it's all to do with you guys, so I can't thank you all enough. And I apologise for the adverts coming in there. Uh, Take a bong, Rick, Lorna, and that'll cheer you up. Yeah, well, Lorna is a connoisseur of that stuff a long while back where I met Lorna. She would have smoked us all under the table. Everyone named Jess and Lamb, but he makes it work. And that's how I met Lorna. But thank you, Carol, as well. She will, yes, she will. Uh, she, <laughs> she's from Yorkshire. They're built a bit differently up here. He's gone disagreeing. Drinking is one of my Exactly. I right. mean, I'm from Colorado. We could put that to the test. <laughs> really? Drinking is more of my profession, so. I would, I would love to go sure. to, is it Oktoberfest? That's nothing. What do you mean it's nothing? You've got, you, you, you boys have got jugs of beer, not pints of beer, jugs of the stuff, man. Yards, yeah, but that's pictures. Still nothing. What do you mean it's that's nothing? Still nothing? It's still nothing. Oh, drive through by One, beers. one, one brook of beer is nothing. 
I don't know about that. My is Denver isn't called a Mile High City for no reason. Well, I thought the Mile High Club was the thing you did on an airplane. No, Denver's called the Mile High City. Okay, right. Is that you're at altitude, obviously? I'm a little yeah, ignorant. That's, that's the that's the reason for the name. But right. Colorado is also the first state to legalize marijuana. Oh, there we go. There you go. There's a good fact in life. So it's, it's a bit of a funny funny joke in Colorado. Right, I'm with you. I get that. Who is the blue flag? Well, funny to know Germany did it too. They legalized marijuana uh, began with April. Right, I'm gonna call it a night. You get enough, Doug? All of you. Yeah, you're all legends. Cheers for the chat. Cheers for Take the good, Doug. It's been a good night. <sighs> Doug, we love having you, my friend. Stop playing farm simulator. It's beneath you. But I love I you very. Well, you keep telling you keep telling everyone it's a wife and oh, dinner. You're not gonna believe me. I'm, well, I, I, for, for argument's sake, I believe you. But honest to God, Doug, it's lovely to have you back in the live stream of us. It's lovely to have you back for literally. You, you were slacking tonight, Rod. So the like the next live stream come the weekend, you better be uh, you better be on the ball when it comes to having those uh, beers at the ready. Because you're not. Slacking. She didn't top up the beer fridge. Well, that's not the <laughs> point, right? We've got Germans in here of Justin saying we don't drink properly, and you've had two beers tonight. So we, we four. You need to come and represent, right, next time out uh, for the British nation. You really do. But anyway, Doug. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me, and I'm loving those 148s, my friend. They, even before the stream happened and I was in there, I was watching the Deltas, the fastest laps, and I was looking at yours the entire time, and looking how you had you were. three or four attempts in there, I was like, you had that 40, you have 48s in you now, and it's just, it's dropping off so fast, though. Keep it up, my friend. You have got that in you. I know you have. Once you click with the car and the way it feels on this new PC, you are going to be a force to be reckoned with, Doug. We love you very, very much, my buddy. And uh, I've been a saying, I believe, is the word I'm looking for. Uh, ciao for now, Dobrigenia. And uh, we love you, Doug. Big love, my friend. Yeah. Much love. And don't forget, Junior. It's your setup, so I'm using. Much <laughs> love. Big love, my dude. Thank you, Doug. Take care, Have all. Have fun on the farm, man. Take care, Doug. <laughs> See you all later. Yeah, See you later, Doug. Thank you, brother. Ta -da. So, yeah, obviously... That's Doug just getting off for the night. He's, uh, he's probably got the, uh, the work tomorrow, I believe. But yeah, he's been putting in a lot of time. He's obviously doing 148s at Monza now, or he's right on the cusp of continuously doing 148s. He's also putting a lot of time into farming simulator as well. He says it's a wife. I don't know what to believe. Uh, but... I think he's driving a 148 with his tractor. Well, yeah, exactly. And maybe the plow in the fields are paying off. Maybe that is where the 148 is coming to. Number 51 is off at the minute. And that is... Is he going to keep going? Because I'll check it if he doesn't. If he does. 51, what happens to him? Oh, that's a snap. Right, okay. I can live with that. It's not fun, obviously. Currently leading the way is Larinch, who I'm gonna go with C. Larinch. It's got to be French, right? I think. I apologize yeah. if you're not, but let's have a look. He is. No, he's not. He's from Belgium, but again, that is a French language, I believe. Or predominantly French language is the Belgian oh, language. Yeah. So, half right. Ooh! Mr. Kevin Hatch is uh, super close now to early in front. How's this going to work? GT2 not really on the brakes. Uh, she's shouting, I want a bottle, Daddy. Is she really? Thank you for subscribing, Thomas, and the ladies as well. I think you're eating some noodles before another beer. Tell me what to do, Dad. Uh, thank you for subscribing, Thomas, and the Ah, Swish Franks. That's it, Swiss France, okay, right. This is so much fun for both viewers and drivers. Thank you. Hey, Sunnels, thank you very much for coming in, bro. Uh, dope. And a four year old. Okay, now I'm really going to bed. Enjoy, boys. Thank you, K Adam. We love Doug. Hashtag from J McQ. I hope you and uh, the brother in arms, Liam, are doing very well. Uh, good night, bro. Thanks for watching. What's the pets it is? She should have more well they all uh, next on the stream. Okay. Uh, 
We have Suave Nikolic closely followed just in behind. We're going to get a Scheiser in a minute as we head up into the chicane. Running out of German swear words. However, I was told what Dick had meant and I forgot. Oh, a bit of a touch on the exit of that. No touch. Oh, God for Dona. Uh, very, very quickly, before I get my ass handed to me, we'll keep on board with the 44 as I go make a bottle. One second. Oh, just the. What? I think he fell in love with me. This was my tutorial to do how we move to four places. I do have to say, it's the first one I drive here on ACC. Awesome. I'm really shit on I take this as. Uh, Alright. Oh, Plus, it's about on track. Kev looks very close, right? Kev doing a fantastic job. He's always a standout bloke in these lobbies. Monsieur Kev in Hatch. Hopefully there are no sack of blurs into this section of the track. He's doing a fantastic job. Um, nope. I'm, on, I'm still stuck on German. I'm going to be high stew. Uh, French, French, French. Oh, Gemma Pell uh, Junior. Nah. Uh, shit. Uh, turn to our country, sank, see, set, oh, okay. I, I can fucking count, but I can't. I can't get anywhere else with it. Eins, wein, drei, vier, fünf, sieben, acht, neun, six, see. Count like a fucking champion. Nearly, nearly. What do you mean nearly? Eins, wein, drei, vier, fünf, six, sieben, acht, neun. Yeah, but fünf zehn. Did I? Yeah. Listen, let's not get bogged down in who missed number six out. Like I was close, right? Currently smashing out roots, taking over my life. Yeah, they get that the game, bro. Us, we all play on a P P PvP server, and there's like six or seven of us that all go on there. The first week I had that, I think I put in 70 hours, 70, 80 hours. It was going up to nearly 100 hours. The whole game is a distraction, Jamie. You go out to do one thing, whether you're harvesting materials, this, that, and the other, going out for the boxes. And something will catch your eye, or something else will happen. That game is one big, big distraction. But something else will happen, and you'll go off and do a different thing, a different thing. But super fun when there's a load of you on that. Congratulations on one case, says Tech to Unleash. Cheers, my friend, I really appreciate that. Appreciate everyone for the congratulations, but again, it's really not me. That's a car close to... that's Matt Ace. It's, it's got to be close. Right here, he's looking on the inside. I did hear it in the left hand here, but yeah, basically, it's all you guys that deserve all the bloody credit. And for the most part, over the last couple of months, it's these boys out on track that deserve every single bit of admiration and credit for showing up. Ooh, that's tight for Mateus around the outside of the duty to Kev holding that leg like a champion. 
Been awake since 3:30 uh, a.m. for like a week. Jamie, go to sleep. Jesus Christ. For like a week. Jamie, yeah, definitely try and get some sleep. Bro. Try and get that body clock in the right body window. Um, obviously, there's different THC levels you can use. I find the CH. Did Kev let him buy there? Dry proof. Wow, I'm about to clear that. What the hell? You okay, Eric? What I. My car just like went completely sideways going to that dip for some reason. Never experienced that on this track. Ooh, is Kev gonna have a look back? He nearly did, you know. Oh, Mateus super sideways for turn one on the exit. Wow. Plus back on track, I do want to give him a fair shot with four minutes left of this race to go. So out on track is M Peters, Mr. S Elliot, Mr. S Blair on top of that. He's in no man's land at the minute, but he still kept on going, so I can't put I can't appreciate that very, very much. See Barker just a little bit in front now. Is is that Marsky in front? No no Marsky's just a bit in further in front coming up to start his next lap, a little wide there. Mr. F Hapram. Is that Eric in front? It is Eric in front. We have got a little battle on going on here. Obviously, uh, I was traveling with the 111 when I uh, made that mistake. He currently has a, a five second time penalty, so I'm guessing there's uh, time to be made yeah, up. Yeah, he was, he was blocking very hard. So, Johnson did not want to be passing. Well, VSP is currently fighting with K Raven in front in the number two. Mercedes, which is good to see. Let's hear this thing out on track. The roar of the B12, I think it is. I'm not all so sure. He's got Oc the number 72 Ferrari in front of him. Nickel Witch in P11. Justin, who's bribed the marshals this time around, I'm sure. There's no reason he should be running inside of a top 10 position, but he is. No idea what's hey, going on what? there. Aswab now in P9 and Magalhaes in P8. Japping. Oh what? my god, all over the back of our missing now. It was last lost in translation, Justin. <laughs> Doing a good job. Oh no! That's the lady coming out of the way, thank you. Cross battle track is uh, Chappie and Anderson in front. Is that Kev super close too? Not as close as I think. Kev may be losing a little bit of ground. Maybe the tyres are just coming away from the minute. This next race, of course, will be a night race. But it's not going to be. It's going to be a, 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 you know, an evening to a dark race, which might cast you a few of them out. The next one is the last one of the night, by the way. I just want to put that out there. Back of close. Yes, he is. He's got Blair in front of him, the number seven. 720s driver, let's see how they go. So it looks like Blair's picking his line, he's got to stay there now. BMW versus 720s into turn one. Blair's gonna have the inside line here. One and a half minutes left of this race. Our leader coming up. Oh, Blair just gets it wrong coming into turn one there. Maybe hit the bump, I think. Does rejoin safely, good to see. Uh, our lead, oh, however, see the winch EMP, the number 10, is going to come across to start his final lap of this race. He was so close to taking you out there. What's what Nickelwitch so doing? Close. Is Nickelwitch steering okay? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Closest battles out on track. Uh, 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 Javi still super close to Anderson in front. Hampton suits close to what seems to be the sea shanty man himself. Oh, right, the number 100 for a while, driver. We'll see how this one unfolds with the final lap of this race. We're moving up the order, let's see what Javi can do. Javi's got that car set up properly. Oh! Every time I come on board with these boys, I'm sorry Javi, I apologise, I've commentated cursed you my friend. And as we're here, we're side by side, Eric Binder has, is that number 5 or is that, no, stick of which, I think Eric just made a pass. I did. 
Let's go. That's the she shanty coming through, you know. That's what that is. Eric's a lumberjack and he's okay. He works all night and he works all day. See? I know sea shanties as well. our worst leader. Oh, it's across the line! Sorry, I nearly missed that. Well done to Lee Rinch across the line. You bring on P1, the first person nice, and A. Lee is going to bring on P2. A fantastic result by both of those boys. And S. Bonifat is going to bring on P3. Miss BMW representing there. Mateus across the line and Kev in the background too. Well done to those boys. Hey, Anderson, chase down all the way there. Uh, Mark Light with the fastest lap of the race too. Our Suave is just going around the last corner. He's going to find his way up to where they start. Finish in P8. Nice job by the number 93. Here is... This is a weird one, right, ladies and gentlemen? Jan. The number 44. Justin's going to bring it on for P9. Not sure what happened in front of him. I'm just behind there. Octum and Raven super close to one another. Justin with a good race, SVP, that BPP, well done, Brenda and Happen, Nickelwitch, Food of Plastica, Malarski is going to bring home, who's number 36, is that further behind? That's M. Peters, Malarski. Eats its tyres compared to the Maserati, yeah, get, get yourself in that, uh, I was over my limit. Well, I'm pretty sure if there was to breathalyze me as well, my friend, I'd be well done to Ed Malarski as well, number 30 draw driver, it's good to see you have a strong result, first race out. Oh. At uh, Imla. See Barker. He's been right towards the front of the grid these last couple of races. I expect to see him a, a little further forward and S player. Last one on track. It's a drunk gamer. So I hope you had a good one. I keep missing your live streams drunk, by the way. And Rog Matt with a lovely, lovely sentiment night too as well. Okay. Oh, that's correct. Feels so hard to pass on. It is so hard to control on. Green light, green light, show them what you got. So for me with the controller. It's just... You want controller? Yeah, I'm driving. I'm driving a controller. It's so difficult to, to control it. Oh. Right. But this one's really hard for the drunk gamer, for the man of the minute hour, the man with more entertaining than you'd actually think. And I'm almost sure you're on my main page as Legend of Streamers as well, drunk. You go onto my YouTube profile or whatever it is, you know, the thing, you just scroll down to the bottom, it's got Legends of Streamers. I'm pretty sure you're there. So this one's for you. These are real. These are these are. Justin would say, German sized beers, but these are normal sized beers. Are they I don't know how much is it. Then? Well, it's eight hundred, uh, uh, five hundred. It's a pint. Uh, five hundred and sixty-eight milliliters. Yeah. Yeah, that's a normal sized beer. Normal sized beer, not then pint, but. The Americans have got like these, uh, like Dr. Peppers, Coke cans, you know, the, the small things, and they have like a 12 pack of those. Yeah, Essentially, how, yeah. How much? Uh, how well, much we also have bottled beers, beer, but yeah. Oh, here we go. Eric's piping in here. Like, saving up to the. I'm just saying, you've got them bloody Coke sized beers, like, and they're, and they're not beers, they're a little. They're an appetizer, right? They're a get Bud your Light. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the typically white beers. Right. 
How but much echo do you have got in it? But you do. Uh, 5.5? Do you have 5.5? No, the light beer is typically like 3.2 ish. I'm gonna say, these are 5 I don't know, I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a beer drinker. Boo. Boo. Some of our some of our IPAs have like ten percent. IPAs, the... yeah. Drunk was on about the IPA beers. They were meant to be really, really strong. Apparently, Drunk could go to a party with a pack of these IPAs, and nobody, you know, he could try and give them out or whatnot, and nobody wanted to drink the, the IPA beers or whatnot. Have you were you in there? I've completely missed it. Ailey, of course you were. Sorry, my friend. <sighs> All right, last race of the night, this one for the boys, for the... It looks like Justin has cut half the track and he's gonna be the first driver over the line to set a lap. So the first lap live on board. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not first over the line. You, you are, right? Uh, I, uh, I was the first out. Yeah. Was you? I'm in the Aston. How has that happened? I got the number 97. Okay, right. Where is? Where are you? Number 97. Oh, you're up here, right? Okay, Mays, welcome in. Where is Eric then? How are you the first one? You're on a valid lap. No, you're not on a valid. How did that? Uh, the end of that. 24 hour ago for y'all, I couldn't watch it. Ugh, yeah. Well, they got a puncture. Uh, last 20 last minutes, 20 yeah, last 20 minutes we're in P1. Punctured our model in ACC? Yep. Yeah, I, I never thought about it too, but you can't get a puncture. I've had it on console before, I got a puncture in the. Red, yeah. Red tires on a dry lane. Mm. Wrong. Yeah, I've, I've had it on console okay. before, a puncture. But yeah, um. 20 minutes to go, P1 and 2, where P1? P1 and 2 separated by 10 seconds of 20 minutes of a 24 hour race. We got the fastest bit on the track, 170 mile per hour. The rear left explodes and it sends us into the barriers, man. And it was just, yeah, it was just one of those things. It was a cool way to get. There was definitely a P2 there, right? Regardless of whatever happened in the fight with P1, there was definitely, definitely a P2 there, which I can take in the solace that we were right up there, but still it kind of sucks, right? Yeah, that does suck. Last time I checked in the stream with like seven hours left, and you guys were like P3, I think, at that point? Yeah, yeah, we were always kind of up the podium point. The thing is, right, for the qualifying session, we qualified P2, and when the grid sorted itself out, for some reason, in LFM logic, it put us into P46 behind the GT4s and all the GT3s. So we, we even got screwed off the start of it, where we should have qualified in P2, but it put us back to P46. So we, we just got on with it, basically. So to get anywhere near podium spot was really good. To be in the last 20 minutes, 10 seconds apart, was, was, was a feat in itself, man. But yeah, it was, a, it was a cool lady that was, and obviously I had one of my good friends, Chris, driving the car when that happened. And obviously he's going to take full responsibility. What happened was we were on a pair of wet tyres, the track's wet. It dried out for like 10-15 minutes, and then the rain was coming again, so it was like, well, we'll just, put, we'll just push through these wet tyres on this drying track, try and run the wet lines, and double, try and double stint these, so... By the end, when the rain started to come, these tyres were like red and orange, and they did cool right back down. But obviously, something had happened in them; they'd grained a little bit too much, and three or four laps into the rain, the rear left just let go. There's nothing you could have done but about it. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, and it didn't change. In the bit. Uh, no, we we double stinted the wet tyres. Yeah. Maybe we should have changed in, in hindsight, but hindsight's a beautiful thing. The P2 guys were about a second a lap quicker than us, and they were 10 seconds behind, so we were thinking if we double stint the tyres, we'll be able to... Which, I, I think even I... Then the puncture didn't get fixed as well. Yeah, 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 then we come out of the pit lane, and the puncture tyre didn't get fixed, so we had to run a full lap with a real left blown, which was a pain in the ass. 
Um, yeah, we lost so much time because of it. But it, it's not anybody's fault. It's just one of those things of endurance racing. Next time, we will right. change. We will change the tyres essentially. But yeah, it's a, it's a sore subject. I streamed for 20, 27, 28 hours that day, and it got a little bit cruelly ripped away from us. But the thing is, as a, as a team, I don't think we could have done any more than than what we did. I'm super proud, man. Just myself and Chris, who uh, started the team, we had people like Dal King join us and Jonathan Clifford join us. These are massive streamers, man. Esport professionals that we had on the team with us, man. It was such a great learning experience and a cool thing to have. Super, super proud of everybody. Uh, Voodoo Ranger has a pretty high percent of alcohol. Voodoo Ranger? I've not heard of Voodoo Ranger. But I will have to do your uh, your word for it. When was the last time I've done a setup here? October. Is there anything from 2024 here? Right? No. Great. Why is it doing that? Uh, surely there's something from 2024 here. Right? This acid just eats curves. Somehow managed to do my best time ever on Imola tonight. That's usually also fun. Thank you, Eddie, and thank you for all driving the season. It's time, Prost. Prost to you. Mac, you mind if I go by real quick? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And I overshot it. Don't listen to me ever again. Yeah. <laughs> Just ram him off next time, Mike. Thank you, Kev. Always a legend. Always a professional. Thank you, buddy. Did we both overshoot that? Yeah, I followed you. <laughs> Never good. Well, this is it good? I'm not getting very good frames a second here. Oh, shit, this is bad. I can run a 42 here. I don't know if that's quick. But it was okay. Can run a 43, but uh, I have to set up. Try not to. If you are going to drink and cross and sh sanitate and skull, make sure you do it while simmering.
drunk drivers don't run in my family, they drive. Yeah. <laughs> this set up's from 2003. It's like 7, 8 months year old. So. Yellow flag is acceptable. I'm pretty sure my tire crushes that. What is the Durkin age in Europe? It is 18, yeah? 18. Sweet. I think in France it might be a little lower. It's in Germany at 16. Really? But for the, but for the uh, higher alcohol stuff, like vodka and that's it would be 18. But you can drink beer and some sort of wine. Uh, yeah, wine, I think. It's a little different. Can you buy it from a shop at 16 now? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Buy it. Oh, it's a minor. I think America has some weird laws. Their drinking age. But it's 21. Yeah, it's funny when I cross the country, but a lot of states allow like parents to uh, like buy kids stuff, and, like have a drink in like parents' presence. Like very different state to state. Yeah, yeah, you can drink here at 13. At home. What the fuck are you on about? You can drink at, in the UK. I at told you. Yeah. In the UK, you can have, you can drink wine at home with your family. Fuck the man you're left. I thought it was 18, just around the block, right? Germany, they start drinking beer with 12 or something. Yellow flag in sector 3. Right, if I don't get 10 frames a second in turn 1, I'm pretty sure we can set the lap time. But every time I come into turn 1, this whole thing loses. Again, it's doing it. Right, sorted itself out. What the fuck is that? Rest of the lap, it's fine. It's a turn one for some reason. Oh, go no, fuck yourself. Guess of where the car actually is. That's where it needs to be. That's a shame. About why would you pick a Porsche if you're on a controller? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, what else car I should choose? Well, it's the worst handling car in the game, even on a even on a wheel. It's it's really difficult. So on a controller, it's going to be even more difficult. You should pick the BMW. Uh, it is very difficult, but I got some good setups for this, and should, I'm the fastest on this one. You should pick the BMW. I'm the fastest. You know. I test the BMW, but I'm first in proportion. Because you probably got some shit set up to the BMW. I do, got none. 
Exactly. It's not fast on a controller, man. Trust me. I tried the the uh, well, for, for first I tried the Diablo, the Evo. Yeah. I got the feeling on this, but wash it. I don't know. It took up up. On. If I was on a controller, I would go BMW, Aston Martin, maybe even the Ferrari. And the Bentley's making a bit of a comeback too. A car that has good handling characteristics, essentially. I think the 992 handles like a beast. I've heard your sea shanty, right? Stop yeah, it. Yeah, Look at the chat. Kevin has uh, agreed to be. Kev's a madman in the GT2, so... Okay, we're only like 3 to... Even with getting no frames a second, it's a turn 1. I can't do that. Where do I do this? It depends, are you using, uh... Like, Steam Big Window to run the controller? Uh, I do not. Just... Then it should be, uh, there should be like a options, uh, like cog near the, um, like where it says play on the right side. And there should be a steam input tab there if I recall correctly. Uh, you mean in, uh, in the steam over there or what? Just limit the stick. Uh, no, 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 it should be on the steam like interface, like the, the home page, not the overlay. Yeah, I, I, I mean the steam overlay. Okay, I will check this. Welcome in, Mr. Ingram. Kevin doesn't uh, help you. I'll do it after this lap. Last race of the night for us. Mac across the line. Where does the scallywag go? He's still P20 at the minute. Let's have an onboarding Mac. Oh, no, never mind. Let's not have an onboarding Mac. Yeah, yeah let's not. <laughs> I was fully willing there, my friend. <laughs> He's off. He's off. Kev said, put all your sensitivity up at 100. That'll work. He didn't say that, by the way, so don't listen. D Penguin, 718. See what we can do. This is the last race of all sides, gentlemen. I need to go eat my uh, beef chow mein takeaway with egg fried rice. So line comes the penguin now at seven one eight. So this puts in. No way that was invalidated. I did that every other lap. Stop don't do this at sixty man. It's I tell you what, our Mal Mal the number one with a forty nine seven is a tier one driver in this lobby, one hundred percent. Like that would be enough for that dude to be tier 1 LFM and be fighting at the front of the field, so. The dude is hilariously bloody quick as the number 1 720 S drive. Uh, Pengu at the OSR IIP. He sticks it in P8. And we're about to head off for the final. Rest of the night. Well, I do will test the BMW and the. What do you said, Aston Martin?
Alright, uh, to get the controller, you open up Steam, you hit yeah. the, you hit the, uh, like, settings wheel, go to properties, controller, and the controller configurator. Yeah, I do. It should be in there to change it. Yeah, I do got it, but uh, as I set it to 60, I got a steering like uh, I would do a drive ahead and do nothing. You, you gotta restart the game for it to like, go through. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I will do that tomorrow. I will figure it too. Hey, Arnold. Welcome in. We'll try and keep it as clean as possible. Obviously, I'm not racing. I'm just. I'll spectate and comment to it, and this is the last race for us tonight. Seconds. I definitely need food. I'm not one of those that are going to sit here and eat my uh, food on stream, so. We're going to go on board with someone within the top seconds. 10. But I swear, where are you on track? But further back, P24, also in the. Uh, 10 seconds. The Porsche. Not on board with someone within the top 10. It's going to be M. Nicolich. Nicolich. I do promise to you, you have to try it. Honestly, I thought my German would get better the more I drank. I do it after race. I did it, but I do after race. If I have to reset it. And I have to adjust to my own personal life, so. Junior, you're, you're uh, talking like a uh, troll on the internet of the age of 12. Oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me that said I had an OnlyFans, so I, you know, I just responded to him and... Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the response of yours sounded like the 12 Oh, well, I, I appreciate the support there, Justin. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> appreciate I it. I just wanted to let you know. Right, thank you. Thank you very much. You can say Schwanzburg. Okay, into right. turn one we go. Hopefully everyone gets away right. Apparently Justin has just said that Desmond has a big schlong. I'm not sure how that translates in German, but into turn one we go. Let's see how we get on. Oh, we already have a hit. I am going to have to review that one, unfortunately. Was that Matthias into turn one? I'm sure he's probably just got it wrong if it was. Nope. He actually hit himself. It wasn't Matthias at all. And spun himself around. A lead. That's a key as well, isn't it? Right. Sorry. Alright. For the most part, we've got away with it. That's a, a big disappointment. Yeah, exactly. that do you like my pink, uh, pink rear, Mac? On board with Roger Mack now, the 369, staring at a big pink rear. The guy in front has massive arms, I'm not sure of it. Oh, car off in front, that has got a big brand chain, no it's not. What is that? Nickelwitch is out of this race. Okay, back with the racing. Quick look what happens to Nickelwitch out there. He's not gonna be happy. Oh, he gets it all wrong himself. Okay. A rejoin to something else? Yeah, big rejoin. Does the Aston get away with it? Yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, big crashes back here. The deep blow is out of this one, and also top Ingram is out of this one too. Let's have a quick look what's happened. Should have started for further back, right? No, he didn't at all. Oh, this is super important. Right, this already happened in front. Number six, he gets hit as well, and that's what caused it. No. Overtake me. It's 
Spetsnaz in front. It's got our match company. Gervin. I do have a trap map somewhere. Past the Atla now, and we're into the Ravazar. Holy shit. Looking on board here with the Aston Martin driver, the sea shanty man himself, Mr. Eric Binder now. Is that back or behind? It is indeed, and Banchetti is trying to look for a move too. What could possibly go wrong into turn one here? And it goes defensive. Onto the brakes a tad early there, and the BMW does find his way around. Is he going to make a mistake on the bumps? Now he does indeed in front. Oh. I don't think that was your fault. This is a racing incident. He, yeah, I'll no, keep it, it back. You can keep it going if you okay. want. I don't think it's Holy your shit. fault. He's made a mistake. Oh, Mac, what the hell? Uh, crash in front of me. Tyler, 73. It's a hit from behind, or Mac. It's fine. That's a key. Yeah, I don't think it's again intentional. Oh, I Anderson's off, so yeah, key. Ailey Anderson. Let's have a look what happens to Anderson in that bit of office here. And Anderson was fighting, man. And, oh, that's not good. Yeah, Anderson and Daly are right. Why is he lifting for this turn? Oh, okay. Max still going, he's stolen Justin's uh, livery for tonight. And we love him for it. Oh, what happens in front? What happened to you, Vander? E Eric? Uh, I got killed by Mac. Oh! Or not Mac, Barker, sorry. Barker. Mac? Well, we'll go with your first part. Oh, it wasn't, mate. Oh, that's hard for me. Oh, that was a big hit, man. And that is from back behind. So five second penalty to Barker and I'm guessing to Mac two. Can you confirm that, Eric? Uh yeah, Mac also uh Mac. over the back of me. Yeah, yeah. massive yeah. massive yeah. hit. <laughs> Didn't even break this. <laughs> I'll be old five second penalty. Oh shit, I, I will hold them up, boy. this time. On board with C. Lorinch, he has M. Hunter. I tell you what, what the hell is happening here? P1, 2, 3 and 4. <laughs> All super close to each other. Well. to give it up. 12 minutes left this week. It's all go, go, go. Mateus holding P2 at the minute. Good line by him. What's happening if he reaches inside? He gives the brute and good racing. Oh! The 
It's just words of encouragement at this point, not to kill each other. Spets Nats and Justin, number 44, are all going side by side here now as we enter. I've lost my piece of paper. I don't know where it is. Aquamineral. There you go. Got one of them, right? Where's the piece of paper gone? I've called the names down like the professional I am, but unfortunately I've lost them under duress. And just behind there, Spets Nats. Oh! Tell you what, number 16, please be please be bad, huh? And that's careful for everyone in the British language. It's just I've drank too much tonight and uh, it's the way it's coming across. Ooh, just a bit further in front. One, two, and three, four are all close together. This is what I'm going to have to keep an eye on over here. So I want to confirm the air shake, but oh, Manowski's out with this one. Oh, might be a touch there, Matthias. Just getting on. Where's the sunset is going down here? Whether it'll get dark here or not, I'm not 100% sure. Who's getting a blue flag there? Number eight. Well, I'll warn him one more time before we do it him. See you later. It's not rocket science, right? Someone has dropped off in the rear of me. Who is that? So we've got Hunter and Henry D. Super close to each other, actually. 73 is off there, and then Taylor, that's unfortunate. One of the nine. Oh, Jesus Christ, the wrench has just appointed an absolute head on collision with uh, Agadon. Number 54 he is now at the player. Mateus having a fantastic race at the minute, and Hunter leading the way. D. Kerr, welcome into the lobby. I never saw you in there, my friend, on the back of Barkanow. And uh, Eric just in front. What's happening with Mac? Mac's having a lonely one, but he does have Espoir behind him, so there's still a lot of fighting going on between these guys. Close battle between Spetsnats and Anderson and Justin that's holding a P9 spot in front. This guy is on a controller. Ian Lee has Penguin and Irvine in front. See if that one develops drive through for the There's a clear one. And goodbye. I don't think it's a what is it, bro. I think it was the case of me asking you that it was blue flags. Ooh, 
Canada is just on the edge of the brink of death. Closest lap on there is Mr. A. Lee. Now he's on the back of Penguins now, the number 718. Try and be as fair as possible. Obviously, I asked him twice for the blue flag, which was obviously involving Justin Spetsnaz and got it all in front of him. It's hard to be faster. I get that. It's not an easy track to be come out of the way of. And if the positions were reversed. I do want to keep an eye on the number 21 just to make sure that he isn't going to be in the way of anybody. Eric, I can still hold him for a bit. There's Eric out on track now, the number 97 on the back of the number 16 and 90. Are you trying to try to block him? <laughs> uh, sort of. <laughs> like I said, I can't, uh, I can't block him. I'm sure that's a song. I'll be your defender. Oh, Eric gets his nose cut off into turn four. We're on board with Spetsnaz now as he's hunting down the 44 in front. We're going to flash of the lights there as well. I'm not a fan of the flashing lights. Obviously I get skills when shit trying to cut the man off in front, but... I guess he's just going. Is he flashing the lights there? I don't see flashing lights. No, I know. It might be a bit of damage on the front end of the car or something. Ooh, just in. And a bump. Just in time to save the rear end of that 922. See what I did there? Play on words. Yeah. I'm at blank curve very, very close to going. Deep curve very fast recently by in his own admission. Eric now gets to watch the action unfold in front of him. There's Cantia, Spetsnaz, and uh, Justin. I'll try and fight now. We've got a Shepherd's Delight sunset here at Imola. Not quite that. It's disappointing. Dry through for early. Front, he kind of touched the ass end of Justin. I'm not sure. Justin, do you feel violated? Oh, no, he's, he's on it. He's gone bored with Justin right now because he's all over the ass end of Scott Sats in front of number 98. I'm good with what? Oh, yeah. Two and a half minutes left to go. I want to give everyone a fair shake at this lobby. Mr. Ed Malski was in this one. No! Jesus, and that is Canadia off. Does he keep going? He does indeed. Good man. G Wheeler, uh, Galavelli, who did have a DQ for the blue flags. I did ask him like twice. It is in the chat log. Uh, G Julians, M. Peters, S. Lead, uh, C. Backer, and Mac with the very famous Justin livery on at the minute, running it very proudly. Uh, I Anderson, S. Blair, D. Kerr and Eric Binder still in front. He has 
just in in front. It'll be interesting to see if we get anywhere near him in a minute. Uh, Justin obviously chasing down there, uh, scratching that's in front of him. And Shetty just a bit further ahead of these boys. In a bit of a world of his own at the minute. Time behind him, time in front of him. Deep end winner of Ed Lee. That's Aki in front, who has Irvin, and I believe that is the. Yeah, that's the Porsche in front of him. So, battle one for B6, 5, and 4 for him. Are you faster? Uh, maybe. Probably. Go ahead. Mateus just trying to hold off the number 10 behind. We wrench super super fast gun as well. Gotcha. I believe we have some blue flag traffic here, and Peters will be the next man up as the number 36. I do want to make sure this isn't the last lap, it's not. We're going to have one more after this. Mateus is still fighting hard with the wrench in front. This is still for P2 in this one. That's classic nobody. Well, I guess that's one way to come out of the way, right? Please come up there, brother. You don't need to make this difficult. What is a black flag? Uh, DQ. Uh. Uh, yellow and black flag lights on. So, this blow and Hunter, the number 379, deserves our full attention as it has inserted the last. One or two turns, but oh, he heads up the start finish straight now. That is three pints done from us, so we've done pretty well. Uh, a lot of people are going to clear that. This is going to be the 379 of N Hunter across the line. He takes on P1 in this lobby. Well done to him. Where's Mateus in all of this? He's the 411 brings it home in P2. Well done to you, my friend. And Larry yes, very, it. very close oh, behind now. Egon. Oh my god, how close is this? Egon Lee. Penguin and Irvine. Oh, I just. Oh my him. god. No, he's saved it. I think Pe Penguin and Irvine are gonna jump He's these two it, yeah. in the standings, man. Uh, well done to all those boys. See you, but actually, yeah, the seven, the three seventy is gonna bring it on P nine. Meanwhile, oh my God, is that Justin in front of them? What happened on the last lap? Justin is leading the way here. He's in front of Spetsnaz. Holy shit for Justin, I think that's going to be a P9, I, I'm almost sure. Well done to Justin, Spets that's a bind out across the line, he curved just in the background there, he's going to have on P12, well done to him and Cancel not too far behind. Mr. S. Blair, the number 7, 720S driver, congratulations and a very, very good drive. Mr. Uh, Mac, moderator of the channel, an all round good guy, running the best livery in the game. I'm very proud that you came up with that on your own, my friend. Well done. And uh, G. Wheeler in the AMG Evo. Well done to you in P21. And last, but by no means least, a little further behind is the Gallavini. And uh, yeah, the thing is, I just asked for the blue flags twice, and it was involved in a battle with four other cars. Don't take it to heart. I understand uh, it's frustration, but the number eight Ferrari driver is going to bring it home for the last lap here. I just want to thank Justin, Mac, oh, and Eric for joining us tonight. Eric, you sang your heart out, my friend. Thank you so much. Of course. Anytime. Legend, buddy. Obviously, Justin, thank you for educating me on some German and uh, Scooter as well. I still don't believe you, but... We'll, we'll roll with it, I guess. 
Let's see, yeah. Well, you have to roll with it. Well, I don't have to roll with it at all. He's it's more, it's more British than... He might have been born in Hamburg, but I guarantee you he's, <laughs> he was born... He, he was literally raised... He speaks more British than I do. Anyway, I can't get into it. Like, it's a head melt. And Mr. Armac, thank you for being one of the better moderators on the channel, my friend. Without you... I'm not sure we'd have got to a thousand subs. You are a legend. Thank you so much. All good one. It is all oh, good, but you take great time. Night, yeah, you I and Emma. Massive thank you to both you boys. We're looking on board with uh, Justin, who is half British, I believe, as of tonight. So, well done to well done to Justin for being half British and half German. Appreciate that very much. We'll adopt him very much. Thank you to Kevin, Aki, uh, Rodmap, to Drunk Gamer, Jamie, Tattoo Unleash. I'm not going to say thank you to Lonnie Hughes. I haven't eaten the takeaway yet. I don't know how it tastes. Okay, Adam, of course. Thank you for being a legend and support the channel. Uh, Thomas Miles for subscribing. If I'm missing anybody else, I probably am. Robbie Curley, Jonathan Cliff, Brian Racing, Nate, and. Oh, and Oliver, too. With that said. Scooter is from Finland. No, he's not. Scooter is not from Finland. But honest to God, I've had so much fun. And I appreciate every single drive that came out on track tonight, whether it was at Monza or whether it came to Imola. I'm flagging by the end of it. Well, thank you so much. And from uh, and a big thank you to Justin. Uh, it's not Danke Shen. Danke? Right? Danke. 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 Yeah, there we go. Danke. And, uh, <laughs> You're uh, welcome. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Eric, uh, howdy, and uh, yeah, man, I think that's the American abbreviation of it. I'm getting there. I'm trying to learn all the languages on top. But thank you, Eric, for for the sea shanty and for the, uh, the the song before it as well. Absolute bloody legends, my friend. And uh, It's always a great pleasure. To be here and drive here to go uh, together with all of you guys. And, uh, yeah, it's been an honor to me to to um, to talk here, to educate you some German, and uh, being here on stream There's with. Um, still a lot of German to come, right? And next time you you've got to join us on these beers. You can't keep talking. I will, I will. You can't keep talking a big game about beers and how much you drink and the rest of it. You have to prove it. And quite frankly, I can prove it. I well, can prove it on the better way with some wine. So, uh, well, but, but I would, I wine, would beer, whatever works for you. But next time we come on stream, I expect you to come fully loaded and, and ready for it. Because I'm going to drink you under the table and back over it again. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> nice try, but yeah, I will come up. Uh, that's a challenge I will accept. Um, I, I very much hope so, my friend. And Rog Mac as well, uh, you little scallywag. Stop watching Liverpool games, it doesn't work for us. Thank you so much for the support. You and Emma are uh, both awesome people. Love you very, very, very much. Thank you for the support, my guys. And with that said, from me, from Justin, from Mac, from Eric, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Beer is from Germany, a scooter. Matthias, don't encourage him. Peace and love. Thank you. I can't tell you how, how that's three pints, right? So I've got over nearly 2,000 millimeters of beer in me that I definitely need to go to the toilet. And so I have. Jesus Christ. That last verse was a blur, but it was a lot of fun because it was like, oh, I'm not behind you, probably. 
Yeah, you're yeah, from me. I do have uh, one right. You've got one apart right now. Right, yeah, so you're now ahead. You explained it differently. You're right. So am I. Yeah, you're now ahead. Time travel. You can tell me the bottom of the room. 